When the whole world was dragged into World War III, brave men like my father fought on the front lines. And they weren't alone. That was 20 years ago. Now it's up to us to carry on their legacy. And every so often, the earth from which we come gives way for something new, something greater to be born. And with them, even greater threats to face. Bring it on! For you, Dad. For you. Von broke Mike Coon? Yeah, hold on. I, was about... I didn't. Yeah. Rini didn't. Me? What? Me? No, that was you. You like screamed into oh, the. Oh yeah, bring the it mic. on. Yeah, right. man. Right. That I peaked was my audio really, levels. That was really pleasant to listen to. So good job. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a, a special live stream. Yeah. Uh, we'll for now and over. Which is Vaughn's book. The the link I'm gonna post this soon because the link in the description actually doesn't work because um it's complicated. Not gonna explain it now. Link masking, find my comic, Mailchimp being a dick, uh doesn't matter. Um, so apparently it's already launched because yeah, uh, so I, people I were mean, tweeting about I, I found out because people were tweeting about my surprise launch, which the biggest surprise was to me. You know when <laughs> you know when you said a time for it to launch, it will launch at the time that you typed in. Are See, you aware I, of you this? Know, well, I, I can I blame. Well, I could blame you, but that would imply that you know. I mean, no, I, I am not. You cannot blame me for everything. That's oh, kind no. of shitty. <laughs> I could though, but I mean, not successfully. But, no, no, it won't be successful. No, it doesn't yeah. work. Um, all right. So the here's the link, actual so who, link for the campaign that's already launched. So this is a, a a fake launch stream. So there you go. Everybody, go back to this book now. Well, it still um, is a launch stream because people didn't know, you know, except for like three people. I think Alex knew. Uh, well, Alex was probably still the first backer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alex knew my campaign. Alex Who's knew my campaign launched. Who's the before. first backer? Because fun my comic is not is universal like the numbers are universal so um hola everybody also i am alive i know i'm his creative block i apologize and i apologize profusely to everybody on the show uh i was an idiot but anyways we're back mm. full swing today how do i check who backed my campaign <laughs> this is my first time <laughs> okay hold on um <laughs> Sooner or later, we're gonna get to talking about the comic, but we will me... and the tears. Okay, um, so you you go to hold. On, I have to sign in to my <laughs> yeah. Uh, I because it was like a while ago. Rini was like, "Let's just set this." We're, we were like, "Let's just say the time seven and then I kind of just never updated it. What's up, Rob? Hi, Rob. Okay, Vaughn, <laughs> go to your campaigns, and there there should only be one. Uh, and go to transactions. See those little wee buttons? That's where you see all the all the backings. Hello, Rob. Thank you for joining us. Uh, hello, Rini. What's going on? So, uh, yeah, I want to... Rob actually has an interesting history with this book. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I do. You don't, you don't remember your history with this book? Yes, I messed with my camera because of this uh, third thing. No, of course I remember. All right. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you want me to? Wait. Yeah. Well, let's record it in a bit, but I got to figure out how to check my campaign. So I go to my <laughs> campaigns and then transactions. Dude, this is as bad yes. as me. Yeah. It, oh, it let's really go. Is. All right. I know who did it. All right. It, uh, hang on. Uh, Rob, uh, actually, as a matter of fact, I think you're, you're better at this, Rob. It's no, 
Yeah, live. yeah, take take the win. Yes. I uh yeah wasn't Alex actually was not the first back. No, it wasn't. Oh my god. Who no. was it? Can you oh, show them out? Uh, if it's if it's not I see, I got a couple super shots. I'll give you guys in just a second. Um is well if if the uh, first back is not someone you can publicly shout out, don't 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 bother. It's fine. Dan Genovese, but baby. How how many yeah, yeah. how many backers do you have? Oh, is Dan Genovese awesome? Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, you got to get this redirect working. But yeah. um, cool, very cool. I'm glad that it's launched, and this is uh, technically a post-launch party. But anyways, here we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me get to a couple of super chats. Hold on, and a bunch of uh, new members and memberships. Elodie My Coleman. Mom just oh, hello! Thank you for becoming a member. I don't Hi. think she even knows what that is. Someone had to have gift her because I don't know oh. how memberships work. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Thank you very much. Uh, I. Welcome to my channel. I talk about comic stuff. I mean, obviously, no. Why am I? Yeah. Um, Barb Rogers, thank you for gifting a membership again, Barb Rogers. Always gifting memberships. Thank you so much. Alex VRB, member for 27 months. Thank you so much. Rini, since Vaughn, <laughs> early yet still gay Coleman messed up his lunch time totally on purpose just to throw my number one backer status. Although I did beat Rushbrook. Can you pin my link to his campaign? I shall. I shall because you are right. You are right. The fact that you launched your campaign early. It was you were, my You were robbed, fault. Alex. You were robbed. Hold on, my yeah. mic isn't even now, in my phone. I face. did I did uh to make it better, Alex did have get to write a line in my script. So a uh, line. Yeah, <laughs> a line of dialogue. Um Okay. So because <laughs> because one thing I will say about Alex <laughs> one thing I will say about Alex that he consistently does is he's been promoting my campaign so much and he always manages to come up with a new name for the comic that is not the actual name of the comic. Uh, like <laughs> oh, little, he's, he's very good. Little Sparky. Good, yeah. And so I was like there was one part where I wanted the character to have like a crappy name. And I was like, all right, I need some really bad names, uh, Alex. And then he just gave me a few. And then I uh, I put them in a line of dialogue. Um, yeah. All right. I'm How do I pin your... Oh, there you go. Replace pin message. There, Alex, your uh, little sparky message is now the pinned comment. Everybody go to the link in the pinned comment to back this book on Fun My Comic. Uh, let's uh, Fun My Comic is a great platform. Let's support indie creators. Uh, oh, yeah. I think everybody in my channel knows the deal with them run by Luke Stone um, about true independence and made especially for indie comics. So go check it out. Thank you, Alex VRB. Uh, Michael Rushmore for 199. Thank you so much, Michael. Is there artist on chapter 2.5 for Fiendish, which is beginning fulfillment? Well, not quite because um, here uh, the books are printed. My dumb ass started the production for the uh, the trading cards and bookmarks late. So those aren't done yet, but the books are done. So anyways, in a week, we'll be starting uh, fulfillment. It's my fault. But anyways, Michael's the interior artist on that. Uh, he did an amazing job. Thank you for the super chat. I was too slow. Vaughn, I did get third, though. Third is pretty good. Considering how Vaughn sabotaged everybody. Well done. And Billy Tucci! <laughs> Hi, Billy! <laughs> Hi, Billy! <laughs> Supernova Billy Tucci is almost home. I'll pop in when I do. Heroes. All right. Awesome. Looking forward to having you on, Billy. And uh, Ellie Irish Wristwatch. He's a new name every time. Yeah, it's amazing. It's very creative. I wasn't expecting that. Member for nine months. Thank you very much. Which is your favorite Final Fantasy VII character and why? Ugh. I mean, I, gotta, I think I know, on. and I think I know why, but hold you can on. explain yourself. My favorite. Give me a second. Uh-oh. Yeah, He's going to go get the costume? I don't is think it's a, a costume. It is the figurine oh. you have of Tifa oh. safe for work. Ex exactly. Yeah. See? Oh. Like, favorite what character, boys. And why? <laughs> uh, why? Because she's a great character. In my video essay, okay. I explain in depth, actually. Okay. Video nice. <laughs> yes, Video it's almost, almost going to be two hours long. Not even. It's going to be over. Two what? Because I, so I wrote. I didn't explain it that way. I wrote. I wrote, and I was like, "I'll make it like an hour long, maybe." And then I wrote forty-nine pages, and I was like, "I have to stop now. I'm going insane." And yeah. so uh, yeah, then that might be a little. And then, 
I realized I was like, well, it'll be because the screenwriting rule is like a page a minute. Well, that didn't translate to this essay format at all. So uh, I am like, I have like six pages left and I'm about to hit the two hour mark in the video. So uh, yeah. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> hey, look at that. I already have 400 bucks. 42% nice. funded. We're going to definitely get funded. Look at that. That just flew past. Well done. Well done. Oh, and thank yeah. you, everybody, for backing this book. Um, so for anybody who might not know Phenomenova or you, do you want to start with an introduction? Let, it, let everybody know who you are and then yeah. uh, what is Phenomenova? So, yeah, I'm Vaughn Coleman, and uh, this is my comic book, Phenomenova. So set 20 years after World War III, Phenomenova follows the idealistic son of a World War III veteran who is struck by lightning while holding a mysterious crystal, and he decides to set out, inspired by the brave heroes that fought in the war, including his father, to become a superhero, donning a makeshift costume and utilizing his powers. But he finds himself in way over his head when he attempts to intervene at a heist and a nuclear reactor and finds himself face to face with a supervillain that is totally out of his league. So that's issue one. I plan on doing a long series, but I wanted to get you give you a really solid origin story in mm -hmm. issue one, 64 pages. And let me ask you a question, Rob. Was that better than the first time years ago that I pitched that idea to you? Yes. Years ago. Okay, yes, let's get into the ago. history. This is so part lore. of our, yeah. What yeah. Is so this? the first comic I ever worked on is right here, Hunter Ninja Bear. Rob Hunter inked it. Uh and he I played was editor. editor. Yeah. yeah. I played and editor, art so. director. Oh yeah. I was like the la the bottom bitch editor um of this book. <laughs> But uh but you uh let me you said it live on air. Well, good job. Uh, you know. <laughs> no, but it's a listen, I as I should have. Um uh you know, and uh so it was great and it was uh it was cool, and then I obviously I'm like, so you know, while you guys while I'm here, uh you know, I have some ideas, and uh they're like, Oh, you can get on this call with this guy named Rob Hunter, and I'm like, so I'm like googling him, I'm like, has I read anything? <laughs> Done. Uh, and, <laughs> and then we got on a call and I was pitching my idea. I think I remember, and you, you could correct me, but I think I remember you guys going, okay, you're pitching this like you're selling me a car. Can you just describe this? <laughs> it was, it was, okay. Um, it was, um, very energetic. Okay. Uh, Sounds like me. You, 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 you generally don't of, lack that. Yes. Yeah. You had a lot of enthusiasm. It was, uh, what did I say to you? It sounds like Flash's origin. Yeah, you said it was very unoriginal, I believe. <laughs> but it's, but, but, Rob, you're harsh. Damn, Rob <laughs> seems so nice and mild. God damn. No, he was he was nice about it, but he was like telling me he's like I'm being honest, and I was like, okay, let me take this feedback, and that's why I worked yeah. on my pitch so much is because I but, was like, yeah. But what I really remember, this is exactly what I remember, is that we shot you down pretty fast, but you won. You wouldn't accept no for an answer. <laughs> And two, you started just pitching other stuff, other stuff that you probably just had in the back of your brain, and you had. Oh yeah, I had a down. second and a third option. Yeah, because uh, oh some of these some of these characters that I see in the artwork, did you kind of pitch? Yes. Character. Yeah, you kind of pitched those characters for different books. It was so well. So it was for the. So I had uh, knowing that at the time it was. Actually, at the time, it wasn't even Living Legends. This is how long ago it was. So I have gone through several names. <laughs> oh, you got this? All right, Rainey, uh -oh. I'm going to open uh -oh. my champagne. Let's go. Let's go. Champagne. Oh, we should uh, save your champagne. Well, I don't know. You're All right, I'll save, it for, I'll save it for... You're going to you're gonna fund. Save the champagne for funding. Do you have a beer or yes. something to start with? Yeah, the ones from Tampa that we were doing. Oh, there. nice. Oh, those were good. Yeah. Oh, I need to go get those again. Yeah, anyway, so sorry. Continue. <laughs> so it was like all right so i remember it was so phenomenova is set 20 years after world war three and as i was coming up with the backstory if you scroll up for us is it up or yeah no down i think a bit to the interior pages you'll see all the superheroes that fought in world war three so my yeah. backup my roundabout way to getting this book was aha well i have a prequel oh and it just so happens to lead to oh well 
Yes. <laughs> so you kept you kept circling back around to your original character. Okay. That we so already the, said no to. <laughs> the one thing that we can all learn from Vaughn is don't take no for an answer. Keep pestering people mm -hmm. yes. and harassing them until they back your book and won't want to work with yeah, you. I'll give you a story. Or, or pressured yeah, I mean, into working with you here's oh, the irony here's the irony of this i and tom shot down this book tom shot down death raider oh really so, <laughs> yes so, so, so and when i pitched um when i pitched death raider i didn't even have all i had was half drawing uh, half of a, a drawing of a pinup and I hadn't even finished the designs because I didn't want to draw it. I wanted Mel Ruby to draw it. So I Mel's felt like, so good. yeah, so I felt like Mel should have his own influence in the character's costume. So I didn't want to, you know, completely nail it down. Um, and I had to, I had to literally bring it up, bring up the, the topic. So Tom would shut it, say, no, no, we're, we're not going to go with it. <laughs> so, and it's funny that well, both those, both of the hard books, are on uh, crowdfunding right now. Yeah. So that's hilarious, dude. Where we both rejects. got Land of the rejects. rejects. <laughs> yeah. All, well, wait, all of our books have been rejected before. Yeah. So I think this is a, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's for, we're forged by fire. You have to yeah. Yeah. Well, clear I found, multiple rejections. I found to my shock, uh, no pun intended, that, um, generally no pun intended, mm. but uh, that uh, turns out that lightning superheroes are, uh, you know, there's actually there might be more than one of them, which was surprising because when I was in when I was in second it's grade, surprising. I came up with this character named Lightning Lad, and I was so like, "This is my guy," whatever. Yeah. And I was heartbroken when I found out that there has been a character <laughs> named uh, Lightning Lad who has been around since the fifties, I believe. <laughs> the Legion, well, yeah, the Legion of Superheroes uh, character. I can't say I'm surprised. And so I was like, all right, well, then my next, oh, actually, this leads me into something I want to show on uh, stream. Um, mm. But uh, so then I decided, okay, I'll just stick with just lightning. But that was too generic because, yeah, it, I, you can t name a character lightning. Um, but, uh, you know, there was like more. And so I'm like, okay, Lord Lightning. <laughs> uh, and uh -oh. So oh, damn it. The same book. What is that the same? But what do you mean? We, Lord uh, isn't Lightning Lord. He's out of Legion too. Oh, Lightning Lord. Vampire. Yeah, but Lord yeah. Lightning is totally a wealth of information. Now, that's a little too similar. You yeah, may or you may get not sued. be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Right. Know well, Lord. regardless, why didn't you didn't just work? use a different language or or? Because <laughs> I because I speak English and I'm American. <laughs> You can make up a language. No, I don't fucking know. Lightning Eldor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> L, L Lightning. Uh, L Lightning. I don't Eldor. hear much English when L I go Sparky. to New England mm -hmm. or New York mostly. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, I decided that in my infinite wisdom that I had come up with this character named uh, Lord Lightning. Now, mm -hmm. for context, I had told multiple people that liked this name. Um, they all had told me, Vaughn, this is a great name. Go with it. So I, uh, on their creative block live stream decided that, Hey, I'm going to, you know, initially it was going to be a secret that I'd reveal in the book. And I decided live on air, uh, you know what? I'm going to reveal the name of my superhero for this book I'm talking about. And, uh, I said, Lord lightning. And they, everyone on panel laughed. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Including Rini. <laughs> so I had to change Sorry. It. I legit thought you were joking, so I proofread his script, and I saw the name Lord Lightning, and I didn't give him a note because I thought it was a joke. I thought it was supposed oh. to be Chris. <laughs> so <laughs> I wasn't trying to fuck you over. I was, uh, I mean, it was rough, but you know, you took it well. Uh, so what's, uh, his, what's his name? Oh, his name is Galva. Galva. So finally, Galva. I so I took like a, a day or two and went into like a a, a manic state, and I was like coming up with like with like new superhero names. And I literally, I wish I should have found my pieces of paper, but I lose like I'd have pieces of paper all over the room, and I'd be like, okay, so like electric, electro, sh uh, shocking, storm. Like just writing down all this kind. And by the way, I found in this process that there's a few words that sound good with everything. Star, fire, yes. 
storm, mm -hmm. force. You use yep. any one of those four words, and it, it's guaranteed to sound cool. Or laser. Captain laser. laser yeah. Laser. The Captain. Eh. Electric laser. Know. Electric laser sounds cool. Well, I'm glad but you figured out the magic formula. Living laser. For, uh, yeah, well, I didn't use any of those names once I found this formula. Uh, okay. Brown laser. All right. <laughs> And yeah. then I uh, I went through this. So then I then I finally settled on the name Galvanite. And then like a week later, I found out I couldn't use the name for my comic book, which is uh, Firecracker. <laughs> that is funny on multiple levels. <laughs> well, I get it. Oh, I get it. I get it. All right. <laughs> Going to hell. Good. So, continue. Uh, so uh, uh, aviator, it's already live. Yeah, sorry. Good, good. So um, then, like days later, after I finally settled on Galvanite, <laughs> they uh, wait a minute. I'm gonna trademark that <laughs> Starstorm Force Fire. Uh, <laughs> wait, can I get laser in there? Let's squeeze the laser. laser. Yes, the laser. You got Star laser. Storm Force Fire. Yeah, yeah. Starstorm Force Laser Fire. Mm. Uh, so I like that more. Mm. <laughs> it was um so right after i came up with the name uh of uh, galvanite i find out i have to change the name of my comic too so i go into another manic state uh <laughs> with a new superhero name and i was really pissed like one of the, my favorite names i came up with was forever fire and it turns out there's this stupid company that is called i'm sorry they're not stupid for legal reasons but this company called Forever Fire, uh, <laughs> and I was like, "God damn it!" And they trademarked it. So, and then I just I had come up with all these words, and I was losing my mind. And I was like, "Well, what are these superheroes? Okay, they're kind of phenomenons. Uh, they're kind of like young, bright stars, which is like a nova." And then oh. I just had them on separate things. Then I was like, "Wait, phenomenon?" <gasps> And then I did it, and then what happened is right before bed, I'm like, yes, I got it! And then as I'm about to fall asleep, I'm like, no, actually, this name sucks. And then I'm like, all right, I'm going to think of a new one tomorrow. I wake up, and in the morning, I like it again, and then by that night, I hated it again. And then finally, I decided on it. Uh, I asked some other people, and they, I had such a mixed response to Phenomenova, uh, but... Uh, God damn it, Bartleby. <laughs> it won't that, look that yeah. it won't look that weird. He's supposed to be wielding a ball of lightning. And I gave Vaughn the version where I roughed in the lightning, which I'm gonna do in colors, and he posted the one where there is no lightning, so it looks uh, really I had weird. To do it. I didn't realize all right, I'll, I could do it with the um but no, the cover looks great. I barely got time to look on it, but it looks great. I mean, it's I really love the cover. So Thanks. Really I'm glad you like it from the two seconds that you got to see. I I did just turn this in today. Yeah. <laughs> so um yeah. I, it's not Vaughn's fault. This was done today, and now colors <laughs> shall now commence. <laughs> so God got... damn it! Is that I don't mean to drop these anyways. It will oh. it'll look better with the ball in his hand, I swear everybody. Oh wait, what? <laughs> the lightning lightning ball. Come on. The lightning ball, yeah. Oh. Lightning ball. Okay. <laughs> FK three twenty two, get your five memberships. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mortal beads. Stop. Mark Rogers is still here gifted another membership. Thank you so much. Did I miss any more super chats? Let me try to catch up. Yeah, a couple. Um snarky for one eighty nine. Thank you so much. As Penis oh. wants to shave his head. Oh, that's a good idea. You just you know, it'll, grow, it'll been, grow back. It'll he's grow been back. campaigning be for me to shave my head for months. Like he was like, "Oh hey, yeah, listen, three knees books wait, are, fulfills." Are you here to serve the audience, or are you yes. not? I'm here to serve my own interests, and at that time, mm -hmm. that does not what. No, no, the <laughs> audience. Okay, no. <laughs> here come the refunds. <laughs> this is <laughs> you the response and fuck the audience. Oh, no, I did not say that. that. Kidding, just I'm kidding. servicing Everybody them by giving them an over. incredible product. That's uh, true. And also, um, when he hits the 1,000, no, do not do the Rethundathon, please. Alex oh. Jeremy for two. Yeah, when he hits 1,000, do the Rethundathon, going to be lit. Thank you for the $2, but I'm sure everyone in chat wouldn't be so harsh. I'm sure. You guys have I know this book has been long anticipated. Vaughn has. Um, Vaughn has been pimping this book for a long time. You got so much of the oh, yeah. work done already. Well, 50 or like pages the art is, 
Right. Wow. Pencil. A lot of the interior art is already three. done. So oh, that's Yvonne. good. Who 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 is drawing this? Maybe that's oh, a yeah. good time to Let me get, yeah. he's doing I, the art. I have so much to get into, but first everyone's telling me to refresh. refresh. Uh yeah. I think it's about time I'm trying to start yeah. through some chats. Hold on. Uh, did I get everything? Uh, Ellie, Iris, or, or No, did you, did you, it's Fun My Comic. Yeah, it's on Fun My Comic. The, the link to back is pinned in the chat. All right, let's refresh and uh, see where this is at. Um, dun, dun, dun. Oh, someone just joined. Yes! Wow. You're funded! Oh. Woo! Shave that head. Shame oh my God. God! And just in time, we have some more guests. Welcome to the show. What's Hello, up? you're hey you guys welcome. Did. Hit the oh bell. Hit How's the bell. Uh, just in time, I got the bell. <laughs> I'm getting sick. And congratulations! Thank you, everybody, for backing this book. Look at that! Thank That's you. A Thank you guys. On channel. I'm, I'm Was so that the fast? What is that? A fast? Was that really like extra fast? I mean, I've done like three launches on my channel, so yes, I guess it, this is a yeah, that's pretty good. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! Great. Cheers! Woo! Where's the, where's the link in the comments so I can back this campaign? Uh, it should I, be it should be hidden. It's will... not in your description, Rini. Just saying, big fan. Uh -oh. It's, it's pinned. Me. It's pinned in the chat. It's no. pinned in the chat. Wait, so, what is so you see, I have the fun my comic link when I set up the three yards. Anyways, it's been in the chat. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna back um, uh, Maromi's uh, campaign, whatever that one is. He doesn't have a campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's phenomenal. Oh, no, but this... because if it's not, I'm back in this one. Oh, it is phenomenal. Yeah, this oh, looks like a... it's just backwards. A Why is it backwards? Mon Ivan. <laughs> How's it going? Um, and, 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 <laughs> Perfect. All right, I'm gonna different. back. Yay! I'm gonna back this book. Look at this. Well, I want to. I want to change the description, two? but I don't know how to do it while we're live. So. Go up to the edit at the top. Hell yeah. Uh, oh! How do you? Hang on, I gotta figure. Oh shit. Is that like, is this does it actually have alcohol in it or is it like, yeah, it does. Uh, I didn't juice. expect it to be that loud. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's yeah. Welch's. Not well, alcoholic. As, as long as you don't <laughs> make a mess. Mm, white grape juice. Yes. <laughs> the white man's grape juice. Dude, it's 1% alcohol. You know, I learned today when I was getting this because I was like asking for a champagne and they're like, what kind of champagne do you want? I'm like, I don't know. And they're like, well, like, do you have a, um, like, References. I'm like, dude, I do. I barely even like know what champagne is at this point. Like, just tell me. <laughs> at least you were honest. <laughs> Remember the first time he smoked a cigar, Billy? Yeah. What are you? Twenty. Yeah. I, the first time he smoked a cigar. The, the first time I smoked a cigar was uh, it was at MegaCon with Graham Nolan. Um, and then it was then it was Garden State with it was you, uh, all of us at Garden State, and then yeah, ever since then. Oh, what about New York, ago. bro? New York. Yeah, New York. That was that was fun too. New York Comic Con. That you was made a great love dinner. to that cigar. I'll never yes. look at the scar uh, ever the same again. What are you talking Things about? we did not need oh, to know. Oh, Thank you. Oh, for geez. Uh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, uh, yeah, that go. was fun. That we got to have good. another cigar party. I don't know who's going to actually hold it. Uh, Heroes yeah, is really, going to be our next get together, too. right? Oh, and can you believe I got if Graham Nolan comes on here, he comes on stream. I gave Rini her first cigar. And can you believe Graham Nolan comes on stream and goes, and goes, I gave Rini her first cigar. And I was like, you. It was yeah, his you cigar. Know I mean? He doesn't really fucking remember. But really, you didn't book. smoke cigars with us at Heroes. Mm. When you oh, you stayed inside. Yes, you're not as cool. Like, uh, yeah, I was lame. I do yeah. call this time. I will change my ways and I will join you for a cigar at Heroes. I'm actually looking forward to that. Excellent, Are Debbie. On table, it'll be great. Debbie was going to come, but she can't. Oh no! Oh, no, it's the last. It's like two days before Matthew's prime. Tip them out. I'm not giving these people tips. Fuck you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. I just. <laughs> <laughs> it's loose I'm sorry, stone. Loose. Oh, the God. rage. The rage. Wow. You know, wow. Billy. Billy, when I don't tip, I just don't tip. You know, I don't flip them off. <laughs> 
not yell at people. Dude, dude, <laughs> that's that's my it's the Long Island in them. Well, Indie Go Go though. I remember one time I like had to. I was like Andy. I had to like I have had to refund campaigns because they charged like they put twenty percent automatically. And I'm like, are you kidding? Like that's re- oh, Indie Go Go was not. They would almost trick you. It felt like into. Well, I was like, oh, let's sneak this past you. Um, I was. All right, Billy. I'll have to get you to do a cover on one of the next books. There's actually a ninja chick I'd love you to draw. uh, If we Mm. scroll down. Oh, unless you're sick of those, yeah. you know, unless you've had enough of that, Billy. No, I just want to know what, dude. I your reaction to that, you're like, you mm. Vod's, Vod's <laughs> character. So behind. Mindy, he's I mean, concentrating, Mindy. trying to Rini, back you know up. Like Rini, you know what it's like to when you're behind, you're so behind on, and people are like, I want you to do this. I want you to, like, oh, okay, oh my god. I, I, I do, Billy. That's I'm so behind. I know. I know. I know. Billy, 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 you want to guess? Like, where's my you want to guess what? When I finish this cover, you don't want to guess? Guess what, what? What time I turned this in? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like okay, yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. And you're like, fuck, oh my god. Yeah, all day oh, I was like, I had a day planned, and I'm like, I'm gonna wake up to getting a cover from Rini. I'm like, well, that didn't happen, so I rescheduled my day. I was like, I guess I I'll go get alcohol in the morning. And then I was working this on this until seven. I I I DM this cover to Vaughn at seven. I was like, okay, lunch stream is at eight. Well, it's one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Vaughn, yeah, so Vaughn, I I can't. Well, Nyla and I were talking as we were both driving home. That uh, I guess now you got your the boys right. You're alone babysitting yeah. your your four year olds who are tearing. It's your Friday house night movie night. Uh, yeah, and so we were supposed to, in front of them. Yeah, so we were supposed to go to our friend's house, Vaughn Coleman, but I'm blowing them off for you. Oh, thank you, man. But bro, you keep Sorry. switching. You, you kept switching around your your damn launch date, bro. You well, messed that, my shit. Right. That was this. The last one was was Rini's fault. <laughs> that was a quick so, sell here. So, so wow. whose channel are you on? Damn. How many times Dang, have you thrown me under the really bus? Uh, <laughs> two. I, 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 yeah, no, two. No, no. Okay, it was really, really great. No, you. no, no. Look, oh, it was no. I'm glad. Not honestly, remember this. Oh, no, oh, really? Was, you're so grateful that I'm I on. am. I am. <laughs> oh, oh, really oh shit! Cool. It actually. Really hey, Rob, did you get that license plate number? Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that bus went by fast. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yep, just ran over. Just left so me. So Coleman likes white wine. Uh, normally, I like red wine. You're not, but wrong, just, you're not wrong with it. No, that's it's champagne. Okay. No, dude. I like that champagne, oh. Billy. That's oh, your well. first thing. Wait, what's, wait, what's the champagne. difference? Wait, what's the difference between white wine? It's sparkly, right? One is one no. is white and one is red. Yeah, no, no, champagne. no. White wine and champagne. Oh, oh champagne is champagne. a soda of wine. That's it's all. it's fancier. It's for well, like, like rich what's... people. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, like, I wanted because I figured if I'm doing my like Rob launch, Hunter, I Rob actually... Hunter is a champagne guy. Yeah. Mm, I actually what? was going to yeah. uh... rich, no. <laughs> rich guys. I, it was genuinely. I even have it there. I was considering wearing a suit and tie for the launch, but then I was like, eh, <laughs> I'm good. Hey, I wore that a would have that would have been a little much. But, you know, you do you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was well. I was like, eh, like it's gonna be mildly uncomfortable, and you know, so I didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, might be yeah, a little much. These interiors look great, by the way. So I'm scrolling down. These are this is the interior art, which again, yeah. everyone, you have fifty something pages already penciled and inked. And how many pages is the whole book? Sixty four. So thirty three pages have been colored. Uh, fifty have been right. penciled and inked. Um, and the artists and are. 10 of them are have been lettered. So if you scroll down, there's the creative team. Um, but so it's my artist is Philip Cruz, Ooh. and then uh, my main his name is Philip Cruz, and then yeah. colorist Jesse Hagee. Um, actually, my letter I met through Phil Ruster, uh, Billy. Um, and then I got my editors, and then my character designers, and then I have a three cover artists, which you can scroll up. Then we got Zach. You guys remember Zach did the uh, the print above there. Yeah, he and didn't then, read on that. Yeah, Nick Capone, the That's print one. right there of Dark Cloud. Wait, so yeah. Zach, Zach is still alive? Yeah, Zach's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Zach's around. He kind of disappeared. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, we were worried about Zach because, you know. The Cecil picture? That? From the diagnosis from uh, last <laughs> June. Yeah. What happened? Oh, Wait, you don't remember? 
Zach got AIDS like Magic Johnson got AIDS. <laughs> oh man, well, you know, that that happens. I was I was expecting that honestly after meeting him. I, I had a feeling that would happen sooner or later. <laughs> so that happened John's before you met him. Yeah. Oh, it's just oh, you know, some people you can oh, tell. That was horrible. Vaughn that was, was a, like, was Vaughn, Vaughn goes, oh. it happened before you met him because I was there. I was. Oh, He's like, oh my wait, God. Wait. wait. Did you give oh, him the eight? Come on. Got the art <laughs> contest, by the way, I don't, I haven't been announcing that, talking about that as enough, but the art contest. Um, Tell us. Is uh so it's basically just you have to draw my main character. You could draw any other character from the comic as well if you want, but you do have to make sure that you draw my main character in the art. I honestly just cop like I looked at uh, what Rini did for her art contest and was like, okay, I'm copying those dimensions because I don't know anything about art. And then I just <laughs> I just was like, yeah, that's our art contest. Um, and the winner gets printed in the book. So uh, sweet. Make sure you oh, use the ooh. hashtag Phenomenova fan art. Uh, and there you go. And um, be sure to spell that title with the correct number yeah. of N's and V's and M's and there's uh, only one all V. The rest of that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Dude, I uh, I've had to i I remember I get one confused time. sometimes. I'm a little slow, Vaughn. Yeah, so, I know uh, I uh things oh. doing strong. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all the busters that he runs you, you, you need an idiot proof your title and your your problem is you didn't do that i didn't do There's that and too i'm many also letters making, yeah too many letters. And i said he's I in an art contest awesome oh you are dan awesome yeah um yeah. jules i remember she has done a cover for me and a trading card and she was like can i do the art con i'm like you want to give me free art okay yeah, like, go ahead. like sure. Well, all right, that's nice. Uh, I know Rush Brooks entering. I think uh, Stippling Vaughn said. I think he said he was going to enter. I don't want to put anyone up to the task, but I think he said that. Um, yeah, yeah. No, have I not known volunteer people? Even but he, no, Rush he Brooks said Brooks it. Amen. Said Name it. everyone Rush you Brooks. want a cover. Yeah, yeah. Um, you so uh, Jim, Jim yeah, Lee, Jim Lee is uh, entering the art contest, which was really surprising. To me. Jim, Jim, I just want you to know this is not legally binding. I'm, I'm not responsible for. The things Art Adams. Says on this. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> God bless Art Adams yeah. for doing I mean, a good cover. Luck to <laughs> 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 oh it just it, it might not be the Art Adams we all know. That's it. it yeah, it'll be, be a different Art Adams. Yeah, Art Adams. Another guy. I'll be. It'll be a. Dude, yeah, oh my God! Players. I never. That would be genius to be like, oh, there's. I have like a Jim Lee cover, and I hire some Secret. guy who can't. Uh, some guy who can't draw, whose name is legally Jim Lee. Call it. <laughs> <Jim> <laughs> like, or just a picture of him it. on the cover. Yeah, nobody gets to see it until it gets shipped. <laughs> by Jim Lee. There's oh my Jim, God! Oh, the Jim Lee cover. It's just a picture of Jim words. Lee. It's just a picture of Jim Lee on the cover. Wait, that's what Sontag was. Well, that's what we were all oh. telling Sontag to do for us, which is like a picture of him. Well, it was Dude, that's Sean genius. Or, or or have uh, someone else just draw late. Jim Lee on the cover, and that's a Jim Lee cover. Oh, I think you yeah. might be in trouble do it. if you do that. But you know, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. He's I'm not a, copyrighted. My, you could draw I'm Jim posted. Lee on the cover. Mm -hmm. But see, once we open that door, can though, you? there's no coming yeah. back. Because you know they'll yeah. do that to yeah. you. Could do that to anyone. Because hey, wait, can, the, if you look, if you use someone's likeness, I'm actually not sure what just the make them taller. Reality is. You know, <laughs> it's actually oh my god! Taller. Just put them to scale. Yeah, yeah go just from like bigger. four eight to like six one. Yeah, you could oh be standing next god. to the Statue of Liberty, and you're like, right, Billy? It's, not, it's not the same Jim Lee. Wait, Billy, are you taller than Jim Lee? Who's taller? You or Jim Lee? I'm way taller than Jim Lee, bro. Sorry, I wasn't sure. Like, he was so sitting down when I met him. He was sitting down. I don't know. Dude, I don't, I don't think I met him. I thought like, he was a lost it. child until he He's turned five, around. Four. Right, Billy? Okay. Isn't he like 5'4"? Yeah, maybe 5'6", yeah. maybe. Oh, yeah, he's he's, there you go. Throw, Give him a couple of inches. Good job. Oh, dear. Vaughn, how long is the... Uh, sorry, my headphones are kind of weird. How long is the archive is writing for? You didn't say. Uh, until... I don't have an exact end date, but it's going to be like at the end of the campaign. Like at the end, probably like I'll announce the winner probably like when we're about to close out maybe a week or so before. So, uh, but the campaign is going to be short because I want this to be a fast turnaround. I know a lot of people, you know, are, are don't like long waiting times. And the book I wanted to be mostly done by the time I did it. So as soon as, the, while the campaign is going, 
I will be working on the book still. Like even this morning, well, like I guess 4 a.m., uh, I got art for my artist. So I'm always, I'm going to, art nice. is going to be continually coming in, you know, as the campaign is running. So, uh, yeah. Cool. And uh, when's the, uh, when's the fulfillment for this? <laughs> You're a dark, dark Jesus. Uh, he, fulfillment <laughs> is a uh, sorry. That, that like, comment was wild. Uh, that uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't meaning to click on that. I was gonna click on this, but that That's was actually wild. hilarious. So thanks, thanks, hero hilarious dark, <laughs> thanks, hero, dark, you dark. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> what are uh, you fulfilling? <laughs> uh, so I am planning. Here's the thing. Uh, so one thing I've learned is that uh, when I make a plan, uh, generally speaking, things happen. So I did say, mm -hmm. I say uh, September is when I'm uh, probably going to have it. By is my my hope. Like, Well, my hope is actually to have it in August. But uh, I've learned that because just because you hope that it fulfills by a certain time, <laughs> that that's going to happen. Build, build no. extra time. Build like so, a month for printing, another month yeah, for... Yeah, I did that. So I think it's going to be... Else. Yeah. I yeah. think it's going to be probably around September, uh, definitely by the end of the year at latest. But I'm hoping earliest, probably like August, latest, I, I mean, technically latest, I, you know, I'm not going to go there. But uh, it's going to be by the end of the year, probably around September, if I were to say. And if it fulfills earlier, great. But I, I don't want to make any, I don't want to promise anything before September. I'll say I'm shooting for it, but. Okay, so uh, September. September or after ish, generally they're about generally uh, in the vicinity time. of September. All ish, okay. but I'm hoping I'm hoping to have it in people's hands this summer is my what I'm aiming for. We'll see if it right. happens, but that's my goal. So what's important is a lot of the art is done. <laughs> yeah, so it's that. gonna be a it's gonna be a fast <laughs> campaign. The faster we get this campaign done and and the art gets done, the faster you get it in your hands, and the fat the better it does, the more quickly. Uh, the more quickly, you know, we can get started on the next issue. Cause I want, I was inspired by like Claremont's X-Men and the constant continuing stories. I've already written the next batch of issues. So, uh, but the first issue is, this is going to be a giant size first issue. It was like the first three issues smashed together. So, uh, it's now one giant first issue, but yeah, nice. I, I have more. I think that's, a, yeah, I think that's a good choice. Yeah, Vaughn, I just want to say congratulations again. I just wanted to pop in. Billy sent the link. Uh, really proud of you, buddy. Thank this you, really man. This really came yeah. together. It looks awesome. You know, we've had some great chats about this, and it's really cool to see it happen, see that you're funded. And sky's the limit, brother. I'm really excited to Thank see where you. this campaign's going to go for you. Thank you, man. I'm excited, too. I'm already really excited. Can we refresh that real quick? I want to see. We haven't even Ooh. gone through all the covers yeah. yet. No, no. We're uh, so busy uh, just... Pitching a book and having a good time, but yeah. let's refresh again and actually look at the campaign if you guys don't mind. Uh, we've got some awesome covers and perks. Let's go through all of those. Yeah, what yeah. again? Yeah. Awesome! Go. Congrats! Go. Woo! Nice. All right, Vaughn, you have a great night. Have again. a good stream, yeah. guys. I gotta see you good guys. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night Scala. Right, I'll see ya. See ya. Bye. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna and jam that, too. I'm gonna jam too because no, this is Bailey. our movie night that we blew up our friends so I could jump on here. Oh. But uh love you guys. No. Good to see you Vaughn. Super proud of you, bro. Thank you, man. You're the man, Super Billy. High. Thank you so Super much. You've done so much. Yep. I'll see you this Sunday at uh that New York Comic Expo. Sweet Reenie, what are you drinking? Wine out of your scotch glass? That's a that's a scotch glass. Uh. I uh, just uh, like, yeah. You read, no, really? It. This is it. what a scotch glass looks like. Yeah, that's, somebody, that's so somebody sent this to me, and it's so cute. I use it all the time because I, I think it's pretty. No, that's <laughs> did... So this is oh. the one that Betty poured for me, and I'm out. So she's texting me like, "Are we gonna?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, well, yes, I am drinking wine out of a scotch glass, and I appreciate Boom. you joining us, Billy. It's always good all to right, see yeah, you around. Good. Vaughn, keep kicking ass. Proud of you, kid. Thank Look forward you. to seeing you Sunday. Rob, great to see you as always. We Dude, love great. you. I hope to see you at Heroes. I'm coming to Heroes this year, so hopefully yes. you will. Are you coming? Who? Who? Are you Who? going to me? Heroes? Oh, are you talking to me or Vaughn? Yeah, 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 we're, we're, yeah we're, we're all going to Heroes, right? Well, yeah, we're all going to Heroes, yeah. We're going to be there. It's going to be a party! Woo!
All right. So let's okay. sit and let's drink and let's get rid. All right, Vaughn. We're gonna have Randy smoking a cigar. Oh yeah. I got I little ones. I have little ones too. I got li Wait, what? Don't say oh, that on live stream. <laughs> you got a little cigar. Come on, oh dude. No. Yeah, they don't want to admit to that. <laughs> no. Oh dear. If the truth's gonna come, well, let's cigar. let's be honest. No, Rini, if you want, I have, oh I have like I have cigarellos. I have if you don't want to smoke a big old Vaughn Coleman stogie. Oh. Vaughn smokes the <laughs> turtles. They're like he's this like turtles. Vaughn, Vaughn's just just super like, weird. Vaughn's got his drink. He's like 23, 22. He's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what yeah. cigarellos are. Yeah, actually, I would probably like Dude, to try well, those. When I was at Tampa, like, normal cigars are way too much. I'm like, oh, this. Yeah, I'll get you. No, know, I'll bring some cigarellos for you. Yeah. So okay. Awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna be there for like five, five, six days. It's just gonna be. Yeah, awesome. I'll be. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, go I'll, I'll go on Thursday then. Right? Was that? Yeah, I think Thursday till Monday is probably when I'll go. Heroes gone. Yeah, oh, yeah. Have, Vaughn, what were you saying time. about your... Uh, oh, Tampa? Tampa? Yeah, so we went to the cigar shop, and I remember I was just like... I was there with Graham. I'm like, all right, Graham, you, what's the best cigar? And I was just, I was asking him, because I was like, he's the expert. And it was good. It was a good choice. I was just like... like see, He was like explaining. He's very... like He knows all the ins and outs. Like, no, you got to do this, because this paper... No, 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 that's not good. You got to... And he was going through all the nuts and bowls of cigar. I'm like, wow, you guys are like cigar nerds. It's crazy. <laughs> we're, we're cigar <laughs> aficionados, my friend. See, hang on. Why, hang on, hang on. Can we talk, why are certain hobbies like you're a nerd, but then it's like you're an aficionado? If it's well, only else. in like only in like comic books, you're a nerd. Everyone else, you're like cool dudes. That no, like, cool you like yeah, video pop, games. Pop you're nerd. culture like stuff nerd. is yeah. nerd stuff. Aficionado is like real life people with a social yeah. life. That, that's what I have a aficionado. social life. <laughs> okay. it, it all depends on the hobby. <laughs> if if you are going to make business deals while you do the hobby, then it's a you're an aficionado. If your hobby is just talk about comic books, you're playing video games. Nobody's making any business deals while no, you're talking about comics. Or you know. same with golf. Uh, it's a bunch yeah. of businessmen making business deals while they play mm -hmm. golf. That's, yeah. that's, that's the difference that's, between that's nerd. That's a pretty good definition. Good I mean, analysis. but what if our business is comics? Are are we aficionados of yeah, but we don't. Art? Yeah, but nothing <gasps> gets done back in yeah, the day. We, things get done. The yeah, bar. Yeah, nothing yeah, gets done. yeah, nothing gets. We're like, done oh my right god, here. did you see what they're <laughs> how they're destroying Superman this year? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Who's day here? The Who's this? Tenth, oh my god. For the, yeah, for the tenth time, like we. Have it. Exactly. Oh, oh my god. Well, let's yeah, let's re let's revamp the Valiant universe one more time. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I when I was getting into comics, they were just like basically I was just getting in. I've talked told the story a bunch, but it's a new 52 and they were just like, "Yeah, all that stuff where we're restarting it." I'm like, "What do you mean? I just got here. What?" Yeah. And then <laughs> it fails because it sucks and it fails. So well, All right, I'm out. My wife, what? What? Didn't you do some new 52 stuff? Yeah, oh, let the man go. He needs he's busy right. movie night. Oh, we'll talk to you later. Garbage, really. it's, all, it's all garbage, it's all crap. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you know what's not crap? Phenomenova, motherfucker. Damn right. Damn Damn right. right. <laughs> let's support this campaign, guys. Let's make this friggin' yes. thing. Let's turn Vaughn Coleman into a comic rock star. Hell and then yeah. get real haughty and real aloof. <laughs> oh, yeah, <thank> <laughs> yeah. Yes, All right, guys. Yes. Love you guys. Let me go before I get in trouble. Uh, Rob, right. we're okay. just, we need to love you, honey. Vaughn, my boy. Have I'll see you soon, buddy. See Keep you going. Soon. Bye. Bye. Hey, if you guys can't back it, at least all the people watching, at least share it. Share the link share on your social share media. It. And let's get, uh, like I said, support indie comics. Let's kick ass. Woo! Proud of you, see you. Keep what going, Billy Vaughn. said. Hell yeah. Bye -bye. See you, Billy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Billy. Peace See out. you. Bye. Oh, you should Jimmy Ray is going. awesome. Hey, Jimmy. Jeez. Hola. Can I What's send up? Jimmy? What is not just? Where is my link? Uh, I will send it. Do you want to send it? I got Jimmy, it. you're welcome. Let's let's have Jimmy on as well. Jimmy is more than welcome. Uh, it's always awesome to have Billy on. That's where Vaughn learned to launch early. From Jimmy. Where? Jimmy? From Jimmy to launch Jimmy. early. Oh, did Jimmy okay. launch early? Early. Jimmy and uh, I were supposed to launch same night, same time. And then he's like, yeah, I already launched. <laughs> I mean, that's probably good, though. You don't want to launch at the same time. And yeah, that's not that was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> let's see just don't just don't be your furry no furries around Aww. here not at all nope uh let me get to a couple of super chats thank you everyone for the super chats i i much appreciate it michael rushbrook for 199 looking forward to seeing you all at heroes con yes michael's yes. gonna be the you know what it looks like the whole fiendish team might Ooh. be there and i am so excited that's because awesome. none of us are like we're scattered all over the place and we got people flying in and shit and it's gonna be i already have a table i can't wait this is gonna be awesome so be there charlotte father's day weekend boom and bond's gonna be there billy's gonna be there everybody's gonna be there all the people everybody yeah. andy 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 frega are gonna be there as mm -hmm. well I, I, actually, I don't know about andy but frega's gonna be there i'm pretty andy's sure he's gonna andy, be there Andy because he's in there. charlotte yeah andy's okay. in charlotte yeah andy, andy Andy Dennis is going to be there. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be a lot actually, of fun. a lot of comic artists are in that area. It's like Atlanta, where there's actually a lot of comic artists, but none of us see each other because we don't no. like meet up. <laughs> antisocial. You guys are bunch very, of freaks. Very antisocial. What do you mean, you guys? I said, you're not one of us. <laughs> you see? <laughs> don't distance yourself from this situation, sir. If you if you label a group. But you stand outside it, so then you seem better than the group. Okay, is that how it works? No, no, it's no. the first who points the finger. The first who points the finger. Okay, okay. Well, well, did you see me just drag you back in with us yeah. <laughs> like crabs in a bucket? I refuse to let oh! you. <laughs> I've been called a crab in a bucket. Oh, oh come on. Oh, yeah. That's, not, yeah, that's, that's where cool. we are. How, how dare you, sir? <laughs> I, uh, I am horrible. I am the worst. Rob tried to be cool. No. No, we are all cool. Oh, I'm cool not bucket. cool at all. No. It's a cool you are cool in our eyes. In oh, our eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh, Snarky, that's, that's mean. That's sweet. Um you know, I'm just telling, the right idea. I'm just telling the truth. Barb Rogers and Solitaire for another membership. Thank you so much, Barb. I Thank appreciate you, Barb. it. Transformers fan for five dollars. Thank you. Congrats, man. I'm gonna buy it when I get paid this week if Transformers does doesn't bet it first doesn't get oh it doesn't get it first same with volume two and 2.5 of phoenix thank you so much and yes yeah, those are up on the website, so thank you absolutely check all that out yeah don't yeah, let transformers get, get your money it's just a, it's yeah. just another company it's just another company just they, yeah they the got book. their money okay you need, indies are where it's at we're the ones that need to get our ips other transformers is rich enough you know marvel's rich enough whatever you should you should back this book there's no corporation right that's gonna People, that's gonna not have your interest at heart i'm gonna be doing a story that's never gonna be sold out so uh if you're interested in that check it out jimmy but, uh, what's going on dude hey, man i Buenas. Congratulations on launching a uh, a comic book, man. That's Thank based you. on you. Like, <laughs> uh, there's no. You know? there, that's just a cool. There's we wait, almost there's, made it an hour without oh. explaining it out. You know what's <laughs> funny? What's funny is uh, I was at MegaCon, and uh, well, one of the first things as soon as I posted the cover, it was Anna that Star Wars girl goes, Vaughn, is this just you?" And I was like, "What are you talking oh. about?" <laughs> and then yeah. when I was at MegaCon. <laughs> When I was at MegaCon, I uh, I actually I was like talking to Gina Carano and I gave her that and she just looks at it and then she looks at me and then she looks at me. Uh, <laughs> she's like, like oh, well, there's you? she's like oh there's a character I can't play. She's like I guess he's gonna yeah. no, but so I mean, so what? He's gonna play himself. So so this is you. <laughs> what happened? You got bit by a radioactive electrician? Yes. <laughs> You got, you got uh, so this character or? of no relation to me at all. I I don't even know. I don't, so I don't see any resemblance. I don't. He crawled see into color. a cave no. and found a glowing ball, and then got hit by lightning. And you know now Vaughn has lightning powers. <laughs> now Miles Hanksley, uh, no relation. <laughs> um, Come on, dude. Uh, just... <laughs> well, like, you have no, lightning look, powers. Right, so I'll, I'll give you the backstory. So like, all right. So I um <laughs> I got I was into film before comics. Um. Which actually it is fitting that I launched this week. All the delays always happen for a reason, right? Because I finally got to they've been they replayed the first Spider-Man movie in theaters, which was like my biggest inspiration. Oh wow. And uh oh my god, I love it. But anyway, I came up with this idea when I was in second grade, and I always had I think the genesis of storytelling for me was like I was like, Oh, I want to be a Power Ranger when I grow up. My mom's like, that's not like a 
a real thing. And I was so I was like, all right, well then I'll just make movies where I play a Power Ranger. It, wait, wait, wait a minute. Your mom just was, smashed your dream in no, the second grade. I found a way around. I it. like your mom. <laughs> I, I yeah, that sounds about right. right. Now. I like, said, it doesn't I wanna, sound like your mom so, at all. But. Uh, like, I'm going to go to bed early a, tonight, she, mom. I'm going to get up early for Santa Claus. She's like, Vaughn, there's no oh, Santa Claus. No, I was a firm She believer. probably no, wanted you to make money. In Santa Claus. I would like <laughs> yeah, argue with kids. Of course, of course Until you Until sixth grade. And so, uh, oh, I, that's, sixth much, grade. that's much earlier than I thought you would give up What did you that. think? Um, more recent. Senior. Your driver's ed teacher let you know. Dude, Santa, oh what are you talking God. about? So what, what about uh, Ultraman? Were you into any yeah, of the other, any other Sentai or just, just the pink Power Ranger? Uh, no, I never got oh, into. Oh, dude, it. she was hot. Wait, which the one? Pink Ranger? What's the short one? What's, he was the yellow the one. one. He he wasn't the into Asian her Asian. for the right reasons. Wait, on also the, the the yellow Ranger who is Asian? You mean that one? That they, yeah, the yellow one. They, yeah. up, they did it, not me. That's not that's not a joke oh. either. You know, like that's. that's I know really... it's not a joke. I'm just remembering. It. <laughs> Wait a minute, Vaughn. Are you as racist as is your character? As I'm racist just picking up what they're putting down. Or... All right, I just oh, look. I'm funny. just. I didn't say anything. <laughs> the good I'm old just days. saying the the Asian character happened to be the Yellow Ranger. There's nothing. There's no deeper who, statement. Who are you? There's who no... are you defending yourself against? <laughs> Nobody's uh, Mike, you know, my him. character, my main character has yellow lightning, so he's an ally. Wait, wait, though. I, I'm sorry, I do real do, but t tell me of the tell me about the story because I don't know anything about Phenomena okay. Nova. Um, so please. it's set 20 years after World War Damn III. Damn you, Jimmy. And, follow, and follows the uh, 20 years after World <laughs> War III, it follows the uh, idealistic son of a World War III veteran. And uh, one day while he's out exploring, he finds this mysterious crystal and he's struck by lightning while holding the crystal. And he finds himself awakening with lightning powers and lightning speed. And he decides he wants to use those powers to become like the heroes that fought during the war. Uh -oh. And so he dons this makeshift costume. Uh, but he finds himself, when he tries to intervene with a heist at a nuclear reactor, he finds himself facing a villain that's out of his league. And I won't give too much away, but he is... In subsequent issues, you will see him become part of a team of the next generation of superheroes that will be called Phenomenova. So the name it's the name of the series and the name of the team, Phenomenova. But the main hero is going to be Galvanite. Well, you know, I, uh, I honestly, I mean, I know we, we tease you because we like you, but your story sounds great, dude. Like, thank you're really, you. You're really on to oh, something. No, yeah. Yeah. And the fact that we asked you about your story, you could tell us in a matter of two mm -hmm. seconds what it's about. Well, I learned the hard way, right, Rob? You know, I mean... Yeah, I've been preparing <laughs> for a long time. So. Jimmy, you missed this, but time. Rob, years before either of us started streaming, worked at this company, <laughs> Phenom Comics, and I had pitched it to him horribly, I imagine, mm -hmm. um, with a lot of energy. And I was like, Enthusiast. I got great Enthusiast. feedback. And I remember I went to my computer. I was like, how do I make this sound like it's not garbage? And I'm really shy of, <laughs> but if you go back up to those characters in World War Three, real quick, those are some of the characters I pitched, Rob. Um, yeah. that, especially that knight character. You remember him? Yeah. So that, well, I don't. I I remember a Hawkman type character probably because when you would describe the characters, I go, "That sounds like Hawkman." No. And then I'd well, say, did, "That sounds yeah. sounds like this." No. It's just because, to be honest, um, Tom wanted stuff that was completely original which is almost yeah. impossible your, your characters yeah. all of our characters are always going to be like yeah. this character or like that character otherwise you get stuff that's you know really off the wall and aren't superhero i mean that's that's why we did hunter ninja bear and that's why yeah. we're doing star riders or we did star riders so yeah i mean and that, this book in a way has to be indie because I can't tell you how many people I've met in my personal life that literally are just doing a superhero. And I remember I had so many people that would say, try and make it darker, try and make it more this. And I was like, but that's not what I want. And I realized that what I wanted was and not necessarily generic, but like I pitch it as I, the more I've thought about it I, as a reconstruction of the superhero genre in the age of deconstruction. Right. Yeah. And so there's, there's nothing wrong with you take your favorite, characters or writers or your favorite team and going hey i don't think i'll ever be able to work out an uncanny x-men i want to make my own uncanny x-men yeah so this has a very you know justice league kind of feel yeah. there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing you know you you know you probably want to work on justice league so yeah 
Yeah. Do your version. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess it was like it came up with it when I was little. Um, I mean, don't get me if I were to write Justice League, and I think this is why it's better for me to create my own is because I don't have to worry about like doing well, the, the way damage. things are now. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, I mean, now I would. Just that. I don't know if any of us, uh, I don't know. It, it seems like the mainstream is just allergic to any sort of, like, any sort of, you know, people who actually would care about the, the books and the characters, which I think you would. Con. So, yeah, I would. And I, honestly, I think, I mean, there are still skilled people working in mainstream comics, so, but whatever. I think we need new blood as well, more than that. It's just creating something that is your own that's independent i think that's very important so not just the different superhero stories different genres of comics but going independent and avoiding stagnation is the way to go i think that'll make comics as a medium better so and you have so much more creative freedom and i think that's why we're all here that's why we're crowdfunding because of the creative freedom like this is hard i don't think any of us would have chosen this if it wasn't worth it right is this is very way hard harder work, than i but thought it's it's way insanely hard. hard. It's it's like I have no life, but we get so <laughs> much we get so much creative freedom, and it's honestly it's worth it. It's like a direct link to the fans. It's direct control over our IPs and everything. So hey, um, I didn't see this. My mom goes. My mom texted me. Goes total oh. BS, Vaughn. I never said that. <gasps> <laughs> oh, he's getting shut down by his mom. <laughs> All right, I I misremembered, mom. I'm just, uh, and I, I think I think Damn, Vaughn, yeah. lying about your mom on air. How oh wait, she you? she threw you under the bus I, again. I, I, I like did. her. I, I like she her. Got, yeah, she Shame goes. Shame on I'm, you, Rini. I don't know if you remember this, but like one time I was on stream with you, my mom messaged me. She's like, "You're swearing in front of women. That is not very manly." Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, she's like, a good mom. She's. I mean, I swear. Like, I mean, if you're watching yeah. now, uh, Mrs. Coleman, no, one I thing swear like, it's it's okay. No, mom, I swear right, a lot. One but... of my so when Rini came like came over to visit, one of the things my mom noticed. I'll tell you. All right, I don't know if I ever told you this. So when we drove into the garage, I forget Rini was laughing at something. So the first thing my mom hears out of nowhere is, ah! and so my mom's like, "Oh my god!" My mom thought some girl was screaming, and she's like, "Oh my god!" And then she came down and she's like, Yo. "She thought, oh my god, she's making my man," and then got no. disappointed. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> No. You never seen that one movie? What's that one movie with Jennifer Lawrence where the parents hire? Um, yeah, so I, I haven't seen that. Is that actually good? Yes, it's, uh, it's actually almost funny. Good. It's, it's almost funny. good. And, and if you're watching, it Mrs. Coleman, I'm just joking about that. <laughs> yeah, Before I get the text too, I see the text. You're me. getting. Yeah, she's going to somehow get your number and just call no, you like, be, sir, oh, Mr. Yeah. Reyes. <laughs> Mr. Reyes, I'll have you know. No, oh, but Vaughn, I think comparing this to justice league is selling yourself short because just looking at your creation here you know over time that you've been pitching it you can see creativity it's different yeah. i like it it's not exactly superhero but you can see inspiration here and there you know well, from it yeah but definitely this is something all in its own and i think you know i think you should be proud of that well Thank it's you. the idea you care i don't yeah. know how many people actually care like i i imagine editors I've just groan people don't. when they hear a creator come onto a book and say how much they're how excited they are to do blah blah book i imagine the editors are just like oh yeah just hand me the story or hand me the plot or turn in the pages i don't you know i, I you kind of look at the books and you can say i don't yeah. know if they actually care i think all they care about is getting a check totally you know? yeah. yeah it's it's a check it's a check to yeah. them yeah and I it's a problem a you of... could tell all the time i can always tell when someone's not a fan i can Some, always yes. tell so in comics, especially if you've worked in, I'm sure if you're a lifelong fan of comics like Vaughn, or if you work in industry like like uh, like Rob and Jimmy and me, you can tell that a lot of people are in it for the money, or they're in it for a Netflix pitch. They treat their comics like it's a Netflix or a movie pitch, mm -hmm. yeah. or they they're passionate, they really care, but they don't actually care about the IP or the characters. They they're they're really passionate about the idea of being a creator, and that there's yeah. a difference. There's a very, there's a subtle difference there. And I think the key between something that's, well, this is well done, but it's very derivative and something that's actually magic, it's that difference. You have to actually care about the original idea that you have and the, know your characters. So I think yeah, you have there's that. A, yeah. There's a lot I of have, people who are just filling schedules. 
mm-hmm. you, know, you know, it was, yeah. it, it really was when I was little, I came up with this. And I remember I would have notes in my iPad of what I would do with my own DC universe. Like, cause I, and that was out of fun. That wasn't for money or anything. Right. Most I hope no people, one was paying. Well, it would actually be kind of cool if your mom was paying you to write comic book stories when you're a kid. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, uh, you know, that would have been. I, uh, you, wait, wait. That's Bond. That's a great story. Go with that. So ever yeah, since you were a little kid, your mom would pay you. Instead of the horrible story, my mom wouldn't about, pay me. That, God, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's what you do. You no, just why? Say, don't oh. make up stories. No, let's make up something. It sounds great. It's a great. You're, you're gonna get yeah. like ten texts from your mom. Like, we're rewriting <laughs> history. That's what we're doing. Yeah, you know? that's all. Yeah. Everybody uh, does it. Use uh, that new tactics. I mean, I you know, it's funny. It's like now I'm more interested. In, I'm more interested in my stuff than the others because it's like I have a whole world that it's like it's in here, and I have to now bring it out. And sometimes stuff comes better. Like for example, that one knight character in the middle. Originally, he was like my Superman, and then I remember I pitched it to you guys a phenom. You guys go, yeah, we already have that. And then I realized that every universe has their generic Superman, and I was like, well, what if I made him different? All right, he's like a knight in shining armor. What if I did that literally? What if he flies, but he has angel wings? What if he has a weapon of some kind if he's a knight? And then suddenly he's a totally different character. You know, it's just, I remember actually, Rob, was it you or was it Tom where Uh-oh. I said, one of the members of the team is a, is a telepath and you stop me right there. You go, I hate telepaths. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Wait, and I was why like, do you hate telepaths? Like, what's um, the explanation? Because they know it all. What? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's it's because uh, usually their powers are either they're too powerful, so it's like a Superman where it's a cheat. Like literally, they could have stopped the fight before it ever started, or none of the other characters actually have to do anything because if the yeah. telepath actually does something, so they sit back and almost do nothing. And telepaths always do the same thing. They oh link the team up so we all can communicate. That's my guy does that. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's and that's it. And you're just like, oh, oh fuck me, not not another telepath. So yeah. their, their, their powers reduced down to a Bluetooth, that's a radio. Well, you have yeah. to you have to put limits on a telepath. I think it has yes. to be like, oh, there's an area yeah. effect, or you have to like touch a person first, and then there's a time limit, all that kind of shit. You know, or endurance. Yeah. They get worn out after some time. Coming out with a costume for the telepath because I was like, what do I do that's different? Because I, I was when I was coming up with the World wheelchair. Really, originally, it was a bat. Yeah, very original. <laughs> so, Sexy lingerie. Make her a redhead. Uh, yeah, redhead. That one. That's a good one. Um, you yeah. could do. You could do even like a ninja costume. You know, mm-hmm. that would be original. Wait, Sexy, which is your Asian. telepath? Which one's your telepath? Because looking at the costumes up yeah, there, guess. I'm guessing guess. a witch. Maybe one of the witches. Only well, one of them's oh, a witch. Oh, the other is like Joan of Arc. Yeah, guess Wait, who's what? the telepath is. Oh. I wanted to make it where the guy. I, I was making a guess though about the witch. Is, but... is... Are the the witches twins? I would say yeah. the guy no, in the vest because he looks at least. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. He's either he either the telepath or he's like very street fighter. Oh, I didn't the ninja. Want, I didn't want, the ninja's uh, a telepath because she can't talk. Hang on. I'm Everyone place their bets, and then I'll tell you. I'll tell you who the I'm, telepath is. I'm after. sticking with the sexy Harry Potter girl with the wand. You know. <laughs> the sexy Harry Potter. Actually, now that I look at it, it's Vaughn as a as Harry as a female Harry oh. Potter. Oh no! You oh. so Jimmy, scary. right? Jimmy. That uh, witch is almost as pretty as Vaughn. Look at that. Almost. <laughs> almost. Hey, take the compliment. Damn, Jimmy. That's nice of you, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I'm too lazy to place bets. So just fucking tell us or where I'm going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting grumpy about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, it wait, let the chat guess, too. The chat hasn't guessed. Oh, yeah, let let some of the chat guess. put in some of their guess. <laughs> Come on, chat. What do you guys think? I, I guess the, the, the sexy female Vaughn witch. Rob, what was yours again? You said uh, the ninja. I said the ninja because she doesn't talk. And Rini, are you going to go with one? I. Uh, You're thinking the guy Alex in the vest, right? Oh, she's angel. above it. She said the guy in the vest, uh, the guy with the American flag. Yeah, oh, I'm kind of leaning towards the witch too, but I don't know. Michael yeah, Rushbrook he's says strong, right? he's going for the wing guy. Oh, because the, the, the guy has fighting gloves on, so he has to be strong. I might go. I'm going to go with the wing America. guy. Because that would be unexpected if he's a telepath. Right? Okay. But he looks like a leader. He's like the center keeping everyone linked, right? Yeah, have we all made up our mind? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Go for it. Who is yeah, it? It's a black dude. 
Uh, he's the telepath. Oh, so he's what? A, no he's way. Got a gun. I'll tell you why. Yeah, Dude. exactly. So he can sense the enemies. He's like, oh, that guy's behind a wall. Uh, the Take woke, the woke breaker in the chat right now. Why is he now. so muscular if he's a telepath? Because, he looks like a frontliner. So what? So what? So he's because the whole point is that he was supposed to look because I had, he was actually the one that took the most time to design. His name is Scion, right? He was like a stage magician, whatever, like a showman. He's meant to actually a little bit. Arsenio Hall was actually one of the uh, inspirations. Uh, it's Bishop. Uh, he was meant to be like. He's like one of those like stage telepaths, except he's actually a telepath. Like he actually is a psychic. And um, but I wanted him to also be because I was like, that's going to be boring on its own. So I wanted him to be like a military badass. Um, uh, so I decided that's his thing. So he is a soldier. I wanted him to be cool. So he's not just like he actually has something he offers in in a in combat. You gotta so give him, he's going to be, him. and you may or may not see him. Well, I don't want to say who survived World War III, but it's possible he could make an appearance at some point in the present time. I won't say who in this picture is alive and who isn't. You won't even find out all of them in issue one. You'll find dead. out. <laughs> really? No, they're yeah, not. Really. I will say that. They are not <laughs> all dead. Well, this was the original dead. team, right? The original so team. Only some of the original team. There's more in the original team. And so, and so, young Von Coleman, Phenomenova is going to rebuild his own. Phenomenova. No, my main character's name is Galvanite. Who is... Galvanite? Like it's only mildly confusing. So, so like, like, who are like... the other characters? Are you going to have? Isn't Galvanite a mineral? The other... Yes. Yeah, so there's going to be so the other. I'll tell no, you some geez. of the other Phenomenova team member. Well, there are going to be other Phenomenova team members. <laughs> They called it Von Manova. <laughs> I love this chat. They're awesome. But we'll, we'll, so, so the, wait, wait. I mean, I'm sorry. To go back again real quick, Von. This is the original team so that I make sure I can follow. And then, some of them, yeah. Some yeah. of them. And then um, they're no longer around. It's like in the future now. And the some of them Galvanite. Are some of them are. But, I mean, we don't really know in issue one. But in Galvanite is going to rebuild a new team. So Galvanite is no Gal. That is golden. All right, sorry, I should explain this better. Okay. Oh damn it! So the main this Drill main him. knight this main okay. knight here is golden gallant. So gallant is a term for knight. That is his. So he is golden gallant. So this kid was born twenty years after World War Three. So or so he is the main kid is fifteen. So he was not alive for these guys, but he grew up on stories from the war and grew up idolizing, especially this knight character. Hence, why when he gets powers, he's like, I want to be like him. So galvanism is you know electricity. So he became galvanite, right? Because he was inspired by him. What I wanted to give him was a name that was too cool for him that he has to grow into is what I wanted my main character. So he doesn't have a costume in issue one was a, he has a makeshift costume, but I wanted that he like, he gets powers and he thinks, Oh, that's it. I'm a superhero. Now I got this. And he gets faced with harsh reality. And I wanted him to be, as I was writing it. I was like, well, one thing I want to do most superhero stories, you know, I understand why they have to get them in the costume by issue one, but I wanted to take, my time and beat my character down. I want him to earn the right to be a superhero. Uh, and uh, yeah. you're, you're telling them he oh, will really be good by one of the heroes from here. At least, uh, but I won't say who. You'll find out at the end of the issue. You should. You can read Henry's comments. It would be a very well, useful. Right answer now. is always. You'll have to buy my book and find out. Yeah. Well, that <laughs> is <a> salesman. <laughs> Try not to spoil everything. He's a salesman. No, but you know, honestly, you you are doing something that the mainstream is no longer doing. You're telling a hero story. Like yes. Your your hero is on the on the hero's journey. He's facing adversity. You know, he's got to. You know. Uh, obstacles come his way he's got to grow he's not like op and powerful you're not trying to preach some message you know this this character is you know he's a, an ordinary kid suddenly if you're dropped in this larger than life situation and you've got something you've got these great powers who knows how to handle it who knows you know what i mean like it's it's uh it's a, it's mm -hmm. gonna be a learning experience and I, i'm gonna I like be a it. villain all day long i know me too I yeah most of us would it's so much yeah. easier to just like use your power uh, to steal stuff I mean, oh yeah. evil no dude totally i would be evil. zapped i would be the 1980s film zap dude oh, if i had those powers on. i would just be lifting girl skirts like left and right everywhere and using God, and and me? And pervert this go invisible oh and go to the girl's locker room you know sick bastard oh kidding. boy
Jimmy being Jimmy, guys. <laughs> no, but honestly, Vaughn, you're really on to something here. And I, I think you've got a really good universe you could really build on. Don't screw it up, man. You know, and I think people should back this book, dude. Like, Thank really, you. this is a really, this could be don't a really good ride. screw it up. They, yeah. No, I don't. I don't Words intend to screw it up. That's why I do. I had my artist pick. Thank you so much, Jimmy. I appreciate it. I had my yeah. artist pick for a while, and he was like, "I'm ready to start," and I'm like, "I'm not." And I took a set, uh, second oh. back, and I kept rewriting because I was like, I felt his art was so good. I was like, "What I have is almost it has the ideas, everything I describe, but it's not worthy of being drawn yet." And so I would keep rewriting until I knew. I can pay a guy and honestly say and justify his time and the money I'm spending and know that what I'm doing is something worthy of it. And so that's why I kept revising this over and over. Like the World War Three stuff wasn't in the first couple drafts. It was like I had a friend who was like, dude, why don't you do something more interesting with your world? I was like, what do you mean? And I, and I thought about it. Actually, it was one of the things from Phenom. By getting rejected was such a good thing. By Phenom, because, uh, <laughs> it really was. Because no, it was it like could be it, honestly, yeah. You're one welcome, of the things. Mom. All success stories start that way. Seriously, it was originally a uh, bank robbery was the heist, and then you guys will, uh, were like, "Oh, I've seen that a million times," but you have. Because uh, here's the thing: bank robbery is easy. Yeah. Because it is very you common, can literally yeah. use that motivation well they need money and money can apply to your character can have greed dude mark Marois even backstory. went that route yeah yeah well, he's just done so much mph but he's when like, I was, there's no setup either you don't have to explain anything you just yeah. look, look it's a bank it's getting robbed everybody yeah. knows and he's got superpowers yeah. you know but von um i snickered and i hope somebody i hope somebody clips when you started that conversation now i wanted to make sure that it was worth the money that I gave this guy for his time, and I want him to be satisfied with the time or whatever you said. Well, oh, now that, that you yeah. said it, Jimmy, someone's definitely. Well, that was his goal. That was his goal. And, said, he, and it was like, okay, he's either talking about a male Go ahead. gigolo. <laughs> he's oh, Jimmy. Hey, hey. You don't have to tell us everything live on air. There are people watching. Yeah. It was definitely work for hire. You were definitely talking about work for hire. No, I, I actually yeah. I appreciate that, Vaughn, that you actually you thought that way and you reworked the script. Yeah. Because I worked over so many comic books that weren't worth the artist's time. You're just like, oh, my God, this this writer wrote this six months ago and it's a pile of crap and he didn't care. He got paid and the editor is just shoving it out because the oh, book has to come out in three yeah. weeks. So, dude that is that has been and that's not something that you can say oh that's been happening with the woke crowd or the the diversity crowd that has been happening in comics since i broke in forever so for 30 years there's just been there's just that you know yeah they they might care about the next writer that they hire but they'll have marvel and dc love to have six months of well this doesn't really matter because our superstar team is coming in. So, hey, you guys do whatever. And do they whatever you want. Do whatever. Yeah. yeah, like the writer and the writer and doesn't even know the book. Sometimes it leads to good. Most Plus, of the time no, it doesn't. No, well, Most of the time it doesn't. Of... Most of the time it doesn't. It's, it's a you... hamster wheel. They're trying to just churn out content, basically. Well, and the benefit that we have is we can spend that time and make sure the story is good before we yes. start drawing, make sure the art is good and everything is ready before we launch and so on and so forth. So the product can be better and should be better. Plus they're very limited, right. too, on what they can and can't do because they've got so much history in their characters. Where, you know, this character That's right here, Gal Knight, nobody knows anything about him. You can literally just do anything that you want. With yeah. Him. That was another thing too, is I'm not, I'm held prisoner by my own rules for the history. And even then I will, I debated back and forth how much of world war three's history I wanted to know and wanted the, cause there's what I know, uh, what I'm fake, what I'm fuzzy on. Right. And then also what the audience knows in issue one. Right. So like, let me give you an example. So Rini has read my script. So if you look at that double page spread of the dragon doing that, if she remembers, she knows that I wrote more context for that scene than you can see visually. Like you yeah. can see this happening, but you don't understand the what the dragon is and all of that unless you've read the script, right? I do, by the way, I do plan on doing a World War III prequel storyline as well. But let's get issue one of this out first. I want Phenomenova to be an ongoing series. And then if people like it, 
you know, if people like it, then I'd love to do the prequel story. And also, Rob, I don't know if you remember, oh. but I got that oh. uh, that ten that uh, do you remember that? Uh, so I pitched three ideas to you: it was the World War Three one, it was yeah. uh, what was then the Vortex, and then Living Legends, and then Phenomenova. Um, and then, do you remember this one, the Western with the hot chick? Oh yeah, uh, was that to towards the that? end of our conversation? Yes, this is the last one, and you guys are like, yeah, that that works. This is an yeah, easy pitch. I honestly don't remember that one at all. Uh, I, I was probably starting to tune tragic. out that. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I no, just, no, it's okay. I'm a I, lot I of probably, you, you have all that energy, and I was probably at some point just going, okay, he 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 pitched us, you know, impulse, you know, flash to us. So, you know, <laughs> oh I, you know, like, so at, towards the end of that conversation, I think I actually left that conversation. Didn't I leave? I, I told Tom I had to. I don't back remember. To work. I, I, so that, I, might missed, <laughs> I might have missed the Western part. Mm. So. Well, we'll think oh. about it too. Robert Kirkman's The Walking Dead wasn't his first creation. He started with Battle Pope, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, Vaughn, the fact that, I mean, your first idea, you know, that the fact that you didn't go with it and you it didn't get picked up, but you reworked it and reworked it. And I think you're really on to something here with this. I mean, Thank you. I joke and I tease you because I like you. You know, I yeah, only tease the people you. I like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, you can you can tell. I mean, there's people he's out there secretly like, seething with hatred. Yeah, he's jealousy. Uh, jealousy. Damn it! Why couldn't he, I have been a pretty blonde haired boy? You know, and uh, <laughs> he's he's like, like, why didn't I? Why didn't I draw myself into Dragon Rage? I could have been the star of Dragon Rage. <laughs> Jimmy, it's never too late to self insert into your book as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That's that was one of my other things too. Is I was like, because I came up with this when I was young, and my goal was always. I remember the character was always going to be whatever age I was, and I was going to play the character in the movie. Because when I was a child, I was like, yeah, the Hollywood. My my vision, genuine vision as a child was, oh, yeah, I'll walk into these Hollywood executives. They'll look at me as a second grader and be like, this is a great idea. Let's give you the director's chair and, you know, all this money. Oh, and make yeah. That when I was a little kid because I was like, that's reasonable. <laughs> you know, it's a really good idea. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't, uh, and, uh, and then as I got older, you know, I realized that's probably not. But every time I'd be like, all right, fine, the character's in third grade. All right, fine, the character's in fourth grade. And, you know, it would keep going. And eventually <laughs> I was like, all right. And it's interesting now because now my writing concept is different because now it's like I have to go back to my high school days to that. Men so it's like instead of writing for my current mentality, it's like right, going putting myself back to when I was in high school. And I was like, well, what, what year? Because it's really weird because it's like once a character is a certain age, like if a character is like 30 or 34, it doesn't really make a difference. But if your character is 15 versus 16 versus 17 versus 18, that does make a difference because those years are so formative. And um I remember spending a lot of time thinking about that, but I came up with this idea and it was like, the look at the character just stuck. And so I'm like, I hope these people don't <laughs> just think that I can. Last year. I knew that was coming. I was waiting. Honestly, I kept talking. I was waiting for those comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every time. Yeah, every continue. Time, don't stop. I'll be like, oh, when I was a kid, I'll be like, oh, so last week. You know, it's, that's how it yeah, but, goes. But I'll tell you this right now, Vaughn, you're going to feel so old, dude, when you put your comic book out. And you're like, I'm writing about what I knew when I was 15, five years ago. And the kids are going to be like, that is so old, Grandpa. Like, we don't even do that anymore. I think you'll like, be fine until you hit about 30. Then it's like, there's a whole last generation under me that is, are adults. That's when you start feeling old. When the whole last next generation are adults and they're like, they can vote. When the people that can vote now <laughs> were born when you were like in high school. Anyways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Come on, we're you know <laughs> this is your therapy moment. Just tell us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us so more anyways, about your childhood. You're fine. You have a few. More, I'm, no, I don't want to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I I feel old when I realize that the kid checking me out at the grocery store, I am older than what was his name? Parents. Oh, when I'm older than their parents. That's when I feel. Old. That's when I go. Oh, Oh God! Oh, dude, I am old. And yeah. then I yeah, it gets depressing. It's like when when just suddenly you see you when you know kids like your friends or your family members have kids, and then you just like see them and they're just suddenly just, just <laughs> grow yes. so much. That is the most crazy feeling. It's like I mean, yes, of course that's how biology works, but it really makes you feel old. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. This is why I I hang out with uh, Aaron Lepresti and um, you know. <laughs> And, Gra and Graham, 
<laughs> and Mike Barron. Hang out with old people so they can all be like, "Oh, you're so young." And I'm I like, "I know." Yeah. They're like, they still call I'm me full. kid. And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm turning 50. <laughs> and they're still calling I me a kid. Remember <laughs> yesterday when I was the youngest everywhere I went. No, <laughs> went by so quickly. Yeah, and then Re- and then Reedy's like, "Oh, who's this Vaughn kid?" No, I'm an oh. old cat lady. Wait, let yeah, me let me guess. And Vaughn, don't there. tell us your exact age. I mean, you don't have to unless you've already said it. But are you no. like 21? Somewhere He's 42. Vaughn's 42. <laughs> I'm not saying Rob, really. Rob. It's like, he 42. <laughs> he looks. He's just young. He looks young. For no, but honestly, yeah, yeah. you know, honestly though, oh, yeah, I mean, if you are, how old do you think I am, Jimmy? 21. Am I around the right area? 24, but you're close. Oh, okay. Well, no, but still though, I mean, honestly, you. you uh, I'm gonna be getting ID'd until I actually did a poll on Twitter. I was like, 35. how? Old? I asked people on Twitter. I'm like, how old? How long do you guys think I'm gonna be getting ID'd for? People were like, probably like like late 40s, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> I mean, you just, no. some people just have that face, you know. Yeah. Well, oh, my yeah. editor is in the chat. My editor Reed Desenzo is in the chat. Vaughn is a geyser. What's Hello. a geyser? What's a geyser? A geyser? A geyser? Yeah, I don't know what like, that uh, is. Like geezer. Geezer. Oh, geezer. That's not how it's spelled. You is that how it's spelled? No. A geyser? Is it? That's He's your a, editor. It better be right. So that's a water. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm firing you as an that's editor. Geyser. I think that's the hot spring. Oh, that's, yeah. that's a geyser. That's a geyser. That's a you want the E. That's like the fucking. Yeah, Spanish. there you go. Now he's got it. Now he's got <laughs> geyser right, with the double E. That's my editor. Dude. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, well, you might want to double check your editor. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I think you're at a good level of, of writing. You're very creative. You're still young enough that you've got the energy and excitement. I think great things are going to come out, dude. The energy and excitement. Because, no, yeah. but it's a compliment because I, I think I get, I'm a little weary of older writers. Like just because like, I know Chris Claremont did some great, amazing stuff. But if Chris Claremont were to write something else again, I'd go, mm, you know, let me, let me hear about it. What are the reviews? You know, because sometimes people get burned out as you get older. You know? well, also, the money's different too. And it's it varies. Yeah. It's cynical. But Claremont, I will say, I just recently read the latest Magipore Nights issue he wrote. Because mm-hmm. I read, I, it's funny. So, like, you guys had to read Magipore Nights in the '90s, and you were like, "Oh man, I want to follow up," and had to wait 30 years. So I read it, and then I waited like an hour, and then I read the new one because it was wow. out. But. Um, well, so Nobody I, asked um, for it, though. Nobody asked for a follow-up for the but, uh, story. No, no one yeah. did, but it's good. No. It's like you can, oh, he really? hasn't lost a step in his writing, which is why I'm wow. like, I'm like, why are you? Because he wants to write X-Men, and Marvel's like, no, we have better ideas than the guy that made this brand what it is. Like the guy who literally took this from a failing book. Yeah, no, we probably, we, we know better than him. No, you don't. You don't. Well, no, they, they, don't they, well, that's what they do on. with all writers. Yeah, they that's don't give. Them, they don't want to every, control. Yeah, all I these mean, companies but, do that across the board. Oh, we but know. What drives me insane Tolkien. is what drives me insane is that okay. So when he first started on X Men, they had revamped the team, and it was a bunch of nobody characters. By the time he gets off the book, he had sold what is still to this day the highest selling comic of all time. Period. Two issues later, yeah. they drove him off the book. Yeah. Superman. They had Jim Lee. No one's gonna drive me off Phenomenova. I'll tell you that, guys. Well, you kind of own it, I hope. Yeah. Well, <laughs> kind of own it. I do a own video it. Video game company comes in. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. They they kind of take over. They give you a big fat check. They say that you're gonna be the CEO. And before you know it, you didn't really read the paperwork. You were drinking your champagne because oh, yeah. it was a all big, of this big stuff check. is. And then it's the... over. I view you. this stuff as a scam, like, or it just borderline that it, selling your IP is just, it's always going to backfire, especially in this kind of atmosphere right now. Just don't, I mean, I wouldn't do it. I just would never know, do it. Just, it. just know that you're selling it for the money. Don't think you can keep control. Just sell it. Just go, oh, wait, how much are you going to pay me? Thank you for the and check. Also- and no. It's gone. No, it's gone. And okay. also know yeah. that it's going probably to be blasphemed by whoever bought it. So that's really nice. Yes. Hey, Brogenosis is in chat. Hello, Paul. What's Hello. up? Paul's the man. Yo. Paul, I've been, I've been telling Paul about this idea since I first met him when I he was selling his comic. He goes, well, I'm making mine. And I would ask Paul, how do you do it, man? I remember he was like one of the first people like I, I've always been. Billy was one of them. Like, I've always been, like, reaching out to people, like, how do you guys do it? How do you guys do it? You know, always getting, uh, 
you know, whenever I meet create and seriously, I want to say, I, I don't know if you guys saw, but I did this whole thread, like going through just like all the creators I'm grateful for. Uh, I mean, obviously starting off my career with Chuck Dixon, Mel Ruby, Rob Hunter, like that was such an amazing, like a blessing to be with that creative team. And then uh, even though I never, the only one I've met is Rob. Well, actually that's not true. I've also met Tom, obviously, yeah. and uh, Hunter Finolio. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was like being – just surrounding myself with creatives and being able to talk to them and ask them for advice. And uh, it's been amazing, you know. It really has. And uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, meeting me was that so much happen. fun. Get Dude, you went – I, I, I got to try to get work. I got to get yeah, freelance work I was, here. All right, so, yeah, I was like <laughs> online for like Mike Barron, I think. <laughs> And then Rob just goes, hey, how you doing? I'm like, oh, I want to talk to Rob for a second. I had my Hunter Ninja Ready at Remark. I turn around, he's literally done. I'm like, I have my portfolio in my hand. Dude, I got to pay I gotta pay the bills. I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> Rob, Rob was a very brief meeting. After all these years, I'm like, I get to finally meet one of the Hunter Ninja Bear team, and he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shoving little kids out of my way. Sorry. Well, here we go. Mike, uh, this, I've been getting like every Punisher writer <laughs> from this team. Oh. Uh, Signing this one right here. So I got Mike Barry nice. file on here. There's an X-Men issue I have. I don't know if you guys know it. It's the um Wills I haven't gotten to sign. I'd love Wills. Did you guys see him on Pop XP? That was like one of the most fun interviews they did. Yeah, I, met him, no. I met him in 2018 and he gave me his card and his personal number. And he's like, you know, I want you to ink me on this project. I was oh. like, awesome, great. And then the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. oh. oh yeah the pandemic oh. fucked up everything and yeah. now he inks himself always right yeah every was, time i that's see fucked. and it's super oh. it's super Sucks. stiff he went digital super stiff. who did uh digital and stiff. his yeah. his punisher stuff is great man i was getting into uh oh yeah his x factor his x factor is the best i haven't gotten so yeah, that's my favorite. <gasps> i haven't gotten so i'm at where i'm at because i've been reading claremont's well, Claire, I say when I say Claremont's run, I include all the spinoffs. So the last X Factor issue I read was speaking of X Factor, that's what I'm reading. Fifty-eight. Going back and reading X Factor. Oh, oh dude, wait, that's on, so let me see what issue is that. Adams, the, this is Arthur Adams. Adams. Oh, see, that's one of those stories I'm talking about where it's like that. The art in that storyline is really good, but like the, I'm sorry, I love, the, I love, I love Art Adams. I love Louise Simonson, but that story is really dumb. What? It's because Art wanted to draw trolls. Yeah, dude, that that storyline yeah. is like, I'm, that's the whole reason the, I'm reading it. The kid has the Midas touch, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, it's just what Art it's wanted to draw. It's a horrible story. <laughs> when, when, when you're, story. dude, when you're, well, thanks Adams, for spoiling for me, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. No, Jimmy, you'll you'll read it. Are, you know what? Oh wait, actually, no, I'm, Jimmy, you know what? It gets better because that's. I'm reading that in too, Alpha right? Flight because hey, I miss. Hey, I miss oh, I Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight. Maybe you should tell people about your covers. Oh yeah, I will. Jimmy, Tell issues forty-three to fifty is the worst. X, you're get, like after that storyline, that one will seem like good because issue oh. forty-three to fifty is the worst Alpha Flight story. I mean, uh, X Factor story ever. It's uh. horrible. Do you do you remember Judgment War, Rob? Why would you think I I kept reading X Factor? That's what I'm saying. No, but I'm yeah, saying I oh, because like I was X gonna Factor, say though. if you no, I know, but I think, Judgment War is the yeah. worst. The worst story. It's like they go to another planet. Oh, uh, uh oh. And it's like they they just dick around for like, and it has like all the annoying tropes. It has amnesia. They get yeah. separated, and then it's like, who is he really? Like a soap like, opera. Kind of yeah, I, I bought the first few issues of X Factor. I bought the Arthur Adams issues of X Factor, and then I bought when Weiss Portacio was drawing it with Dark T Bear. No, I haven't gotten to arts uh, stuff yet, but yeah. So we got, uh, we have three, four covers total. Yeah. So we have my go. main cover. Wait, 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 don't, well, don't, 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 are we are, are we going to talk about the covers? Hold on. Yeah, well, gonna... Rini, come on, come on. You can keep up. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to cut you guys off. Everyone was enjoying talking about comics. Here's the link, the everybody. Talk. Well, we could talk nerd. about manga. I'm, I've got a couple of new mangas. Um, Shut your mouth. No, Hand no. Everyone is enjoying the comic top. Here's the oh. link. Um, Yeah, let's uh, show everybody the covers that you have on this. Hold on. Do you want to talk about the covers and then refresh or refresh first? Let's refresh first. Yeah, let's see. I'm sure this has gone up a lot. Let, let's let's see how high this can go today. Come on. I'm sure you've got a ton of more baggers. Let's go. It's I thought we were all supposed to refund yeah. at a thousand. 
No. Is this a dramatic well, pause? Even your well, internet that, that, is doing a dramatic dude, pause? Wait, you're you're pause. Wait, you're you're <laughs> Shit. You crashed the side, Vaughn. Congratulations. Job, yes, you did. TC, I was being sarcastic because Vaughn said he was going to look at the covers and talk about them an hour ago. Okay, I was sarcasm. Listen, all right, guys, I, I'm doing... I'm trying to keep everyone on task, but I also want to be polite. So, um, I need to... This is not working. Wait a minute, I haven't and hung out Rini in a few weeks, and now she's trying to be polite? When did this happen? I know. I, I need to stop. 18. I need to stop. It's 18. really this is not a working new, th a new Rini. I, Ooh, almost to... at 2,000! Yeah! Dude, awesome, everybody. people really thank should be back so in this book. I'm, yeah, I'm serious. Man, thank you. I agree, Jimmy. I know people made a couple of comments at the beginning about the book, but you know what, man? I got a good feeling about this. That was you, this. Jimmy. I'm sorry <laughs> I started the rumor. People like you. I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, you know, oh, man, this is going to be a good thing. I can tell, man. This is going to be a good story. People are going to get it and wish that they had backed it from the beginning, you know? Gonna, yeah. it, what's gonna happen the people are gonna that are that are back in the book are gonna when they get it they're gonna go oh crap this is a really good book you know this white boy has got funk you know this white boy can rap this white boy you know i mean nobody expected that from you know some of the other white I boys this, this white boy can write we're gonna be saying that I too i don't think that's what he's i don't think to, race would factor in oh that wasn't it oh i mean he's you, you know he's here to write <laughs> once again <laughs> oh, oh okay was it like the eminem story oh sorry uh no but <laughs> Honestly, man, you know, I think people are going to, you know, really going to have regrets, man, that they didn't back it, you know. Oh, I'm in agreement with you, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, I look. So there we go. We got this one. And uh, everyone, if you were to scroll down. Uh, keep She's going. gone. Okay. She's Never gone. mind. Then. <laughs> okay. Well, so all right. I'll talk about. Uh, yeah, I mean, there are four covers total, which you'll see. Rini's is, is inked. But we got uh, more. You, you just hold on. Yeah. She'll be back in a second, Vaughn. Now, now yeah. Jimmy can say what else he doesn't like about you. Or the yeah, what I was telling you, like, yeah, let's let it all out. You Jesus know? Christ. I was like, Vaughn can talk for like five hours straight. I'm just going to step yeah, in the water and then no, I'm getting can. yelled at. God damn. Okay, continue. Yes, your covers. I'll scroll. So <laughs> we got yes. the main cover right this here. It's a great this main was... cover. You gotta really Thank you. Artist. No, Wait, I agree. Did you do I it, Rini? Really? Really? Huh? No, no this isn't you, me. No. Oh, well, you said it was a really great cover, so no. I just assumed. Right, yeah, no. I, that's what I say about my own work all the time. Yeah, no, that's what but, I uh, do. It's, uh, <laughs> well, you know, I you're a more humble with, man than me. This is the image I had come up with because it was a scene <laughs> in the book, but I remember I did initially come up with this image where he's smiling about it, and then I was like, because in the script he is screaming while he's getting struck, but initially I envisioned this, but then I told my artist, try both. I have thumbnails of both <laughs> versions. And I ended up going with this one. And it was just like, because I always pictured like if there's the for issue one cover is the one that's always going to be associated with the franchise. And yeah, while this is a good one. This is the CW cover. This is where, you Aww. know, for the girls, Vaughn, you look good getting your powers. So. Oh, uh, my perfect. character. Um, yeah, you know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm your character. Your character. You straighten your hair a little bit. I don't know why yeah. you keep, you know, fantasizing It's about the electricity. Rini's electricity. Oh, exactly. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that makes sense. Not really, yeah. but that's fine. Doesn't matter. Vaughn, please tell me you don't actually have that exact shirt in your wardrobe. I don't. It's, okay. it's the blue don't. steel look. He's lying. I don't. <laughs> blue steel. <laughs> <laughs> Open that closet. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's go through his closet live stream. <laughs> I know he's got this Let's outfit. Let's not do that. <laughs> no, okay. that's a great cover. Yeah, you're awesome Philip, right? Well, your artist is Philip awesome. Art. You're in the interiors, dude, are visually just man, they're incredible. Dude, the colors. The your artist is a really good storyteller. Like I was when Rini was going down the page showing the art, I was I was looking at it going, holy crap, this is you should post yeah, you should post some more interiors. Yeah, yeah. especially on Twitter. On Twitter, <laughs> yeah. CRB I says you don't have the shirt anymore because you sent... outgrew it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, all right, oh. I can show. So I can show off some more interiors on stream. Uh, you should, you should you really sell this yeah. book, man. I'm telling you this because I, I just don't want to like give too much. But uh, I, I obviously showed off the Lord Lightning. Uh, but I have more. Bill Diaz, I remember. By the way, I want to say this when it came with Lord Lightning because suddenly he backtracked. He was one of the biggest supporters of Lord Lightning, and then once it came out on air, he was suddenly like, "Yeah, I mean, I didn't really like the name." I'm like, "Yes, you did." 
He probably, like me, thought no, it was no, no, a no. joke. <laughs> no, yeah, Rini, you, I believe, you, I believe, because you were the oh, script. Okay. Serious conversation. Next cover. You were What's sitting next around. Cover? It's I'm never sorry. gonna happen, Rob. It's just never. It's never gonna happen. All right, next cover. Next cover. Next cover. <laughs> I just know that there's probably people that are just literally waiting to find out which cover they want to order or which. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ray. Go. Uh, this cover is my my good friend Sukasha Ray. So she had a, she I had her do her thing. And what's cool about my character having a makeshift costume in issue one is it actually allowed, and that's why I think it's really cool for the art contest. Is it actually allowed for a level of creative freedom? I mean, event, he is going to get, I want him to get a full on costume, but, um, the, uh, issue one, like he normally, he has the helmet in, if, if you read the actual book, but it's like, he also has a hoodie and she just goes, Hey, I like drawing his hair. Can I just let it flow out? And I said, sure. I basically told her just draw whatever. And she had told me that, uh, she was like, oh, I'm going to draw this movie cover thing where he's reaching for the crystal. And she goes, hey, I was just drawing it. And uh, this is what I have. Can I just do this instead? And I was like, it's perfect. And she did it all in one layer. And uh, this cover came out great. Well, this is perfect. Yeah, awesome. like Spitch, because, uh, you know, your character is going to be won't have a costume for like two episodes. So. Yeah. Is there something, some kind of symbol or icon other than the lightning bolt that could signal lightning? So. That's what I want. I wanted to have that, but I decided on his initial. We had debated it, my artist and I. Yeah. And uh, we debated because it was gonna. He was always. I actually wrote in the script that it was gonna be a goofy looking costume. I almost envision. You know the scene in Kick Ass. If you've seen Kick Ass, where he goes like yeah, this with this costume, does, and he gets, and then everyone awesome. laughs. You know, I had that, and then my artist came with something that was kind of cool. The, the arrow on the sweatshirt. I wasn't my idea at all. They came up with that. And I'll tell you this, we'll get to the trading card later, but it was Jules actually. So he had come up with just a black and white design. Now in the script, I wrote that it was a black hoodie or a gray hoodie or something like that. And then when Jules was doing the trading card, she did the art. And then as she was coloring it, she's like, wait, I don't have any colors. What are the colors? And I go, well, before I tell you what I envision, what did you envision? She goes, oh, uh, you know, blue and, and yellow, maybe white. And I go, okay, here's can you do flats and then just uh, of both versions and then we'll see. And she gave me a few and then she ended up, I sent Snap. it to my artist. What a pushy bastard. No, I had on. And then she ended up, she ended I'm up like, coming. I want to see flat. Oh, the color scheme, colors. the design was, design, was designed by Philip <laughs> and the color scheme was, was decided by Jules. The yes, end. and she okay. came up with more. All right, all right, moving on. Next cover. And then the very, next cover. <laughs> very pretty. I like the smoke in the background. It's a beautiful yeah. painting. Um, uh, that's very one, nice. Then speaking so of then jewels. speaking of jewels, yeah. So this was so I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy VII, And when I was uh at one point, I was like, Holy shit, the new oh, game's 12. coming out. There's yeah. a scene with the main character who has blonde hair looking up at a futuristic reactor. Well, if you look at the original cover of the original game, that's what it is. It's Cloud, this blonde-haired character, looking up at this futuristic reactor. And I'm like, this is the perfect chance for a Final Fantasy VII cover. All right, well, who do I know who's a big... And Jules had already done the trading card, which is only available for the first 24 hours or so, by the way. And um, I was like, okay, why don't we do a cover of that. And so I hired her to do it. And she's a final fantasy seven fan, just like I am and boom, perfect cover. So cool. there we go. Sweet. Like the lightning threads, like kind of flowing off of him. It's mm -hmm. very pretty. Well done, Jules. Look, all the colors for these all look great. Yeah. The colors. That's a, I'm one of the biggest compliments of getting us because a colorist I, I learned is like a really, uh, they can make or break the art. And Jules did her own colors. Uh, Sukesha did her own covers. Colors. Philip didn't, but my colorist Jesse Hagee is he's he's great. Like the colors really pop. I think a lot mm -hmm. of colorists try and overdo it. Mm -hmm. um, it's very I wanted it to be it. like modern, but also that old school like that. There's primary colors. Like the fact that it's all yellow is just the yellow. It's very. I remember it was a very important thing for me that the character has yellow lightning. Because there's like a lot of, I don't know, just something about it. I just wanted yellow to be his main color. Oh, yeah. if he gets really angry, will the lightning colors change? I don't think so. 
That wasn't my. That was never it's my probably plan. Probably a story reason, like a lore reason, because yeah. we're not clear on how he gets his powers yet, right? Or yeah. like what's behind it. Well, Have the you... crystal is mysterious in origin. Uh, I eventually did realize that because here's the thing: I don't give a shit about why the crystal gives powers, but what I realized that the characters within the story would care, which means they probably investigate it. And so uh, I do kind of have an explanation, but uh, actually that was something that Tom and I would talk about. But yeah. Um, if you well, yeah. Get a chance, thank you for backing. Thank you yes. so much. And thank you for calling it a pledge. I like that. That's somebody who, you know, who definitely knows about crowdfunding. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anyone yeah. ever say that. Oh, is this now the, the big unveil? Unveil? Wait, unveil? Well, um, Vaughn, before Brady's you go on, cover. Make it's a mental not a veil. It's right here. I want to look at if, the not color. You, if you ever get a chance, Vaughn, watch a movie called Mortal. It's on Amazon um, Plus or it might be on Netflix, but it's called Mortal. Watch that movie. It's about it's it's Greek mythology, but it's about a guy with lightning powers. And then I won't spoil the rest of it, but you'll love it, dude. It's so great. I, I think it says it's, Norse mythology when I looked it up. Yes. Norse Ooh, mythology. This is yeah. some weird setup, is it? Yeah, Jimmy sorry, I, I, I said Greek, but you're. I'm more on a Greek Nor mythology. It is Norse. <laughs> it is Norse mythology, but yeah, um, but you will, uh, you're gonna like it. It's it's really good. It's it's something I think that could help you inspire maybe even a couple of ideas. You know? It's it's not a blonde character who finds a crystal and gets lightning powers, does it? Because oh you no, gotta freak Vaughn out. <laughs> It's fine. No. You'll add yeah, your own flair scary. to it. No, but it's a young guy. It's a it's a young guy. But the guy's in his twenties. But it's it's oh, a really good. Different. It's a really good movie. But that's like every like yeah. every leaf. Yeah. Cool. But it's cool. It's watch this guy struggle and he discovering things about himself and and <laughs> North. I'm sorry. What? North. It sounds weird. Oh, he's I he's discovering he's power. No, I don't spoil it, chat. On. Don't spoil it for him. But to, it's it's, it's really it's a really good movie. It's pretty good. Wait, Randy, Norse can we this cover has up? light has lightning powers. Oh, I wonder what it might be. Wait, but if he's not fat and an absolute giant asshole and a drunkard, then it's not the right person. Um, Wait, one, what? One of the one of the few things that God of War got right. Oh, uh, oh, Zeus yeah. being a jerk. Which no, no Thor. Oh, Thor, Thor he's the best. He's a, he's a god of thunder. Yeah. yeah. No, mm -hmm. the, the God of War throw is actually like mythology accurate, so I appreciated that. Um, yeah, I can't. Can I show the one with the lightning ball, the ball cover? Yeah, because yeah. that makes yeah, it like significantly it. less weird. Vaughn, can I show yes, that one? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, here, it here it is. Here, here's what it's supposed oh, to look like. Do you want me to put not... that on the campaign? Because you, yes. why you? Is it red? Yes, is that please. just the standard cover for? No, color it just for... the red stands out more against the ink. So I'm gonna make it yellow because it's lightning. I was yellow. just curious. Yeah. Yeah, and the final. No, so the good. final colors will it'll be yellow. It'll have like everything will be backlit. I kind of did some backlighting in the inks, but you know it'll be more pronounced in the colors. And because it's, I'll do some like blue and yellow scheme. I think. Anyways, they'll figure it out. Um, the yeah, there you look go. Great. I remember that it was, was cool. something you came up with the uh, the drones. And it, uh, what I like about these covers is unintentionally, every cover. The covers, if you look at them all, are in chronological order. So it's like he gets struck, then he's in his costume, then he's before the reactor, and then he's in the reactor. And it's totally unintentional. Oh, you're right. You kind of missed but, that. Yeah, um, those drones I totally made up. So let me know if like you want me to change them because I was just like, hmm. let me add some shit that you didn't even write in the story. <laughs> you got a, you got another <laughs> backer, Tomas. Tomas backed right yeah, now. Yeah, they weren't. Oh, thank you, Tomas. Yeah, Tomas thank you, Tomas. A friend of mine. <laughs> Oh, man, this is so. Why why is Galvanite wearing a uh, a helmet that you get after you know it's, surgery it's on your head? No, it's, it's a not. Sleep. It's a sleep wearing helmet. No, it's so a, it was in an earlier draft of the script. Is one of my actually. It was one of those moments, the the kill your children moment. It was one of my favorite. Um, oh, oh. Hard helmet. I didn't want to say it, and oh. I didn't. I already said it the other well, day. I almost, so, I almost said it too. That's yeah, why. No. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, it's. Oh my God. Yeah, the, the drums. One. I'll let you, because I know, like, I want, I love his powers when they're, like, especially weather related. But I think that, yeah, I mean, the drums is cool. Like, that's a really cool idea. Um, well, yeah. I don't know. I kind of. Oh. No, go on. I, it would have been 
cool the, the the helmet gets in the way of the aesthetics for the cover. I think this would look cooler with whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, oh, what do you mean? You should have left the helmet off, Rainy. That's an executive decision. I yeah, yeah I know because the other cover got to leave his helmet off. If but you want to get it off, you, you know, go ahead. <laughs> you just get a clip this guy. God off. damn! <laughs> if you want to ask me. If you want oh to ask my me, God. completely oblivious, that. completely oblivious. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. What do you I'm mean, just going to keep it like this because I don't feel like changing this. I'm just going to fucking color this. And this is the cover you're getting. All right. Okay. I'm <laughs> happy with it. So back to the campaign. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a good cover. It's, it's great it camera angle. I love the dynamics and the action of it. I mean, it, it's still a great cover. So thank you. I'm yeah. I really the... like it. Yeah, the drones are because I, I had come up with like a massive list of gadgets, but drones is not one of the ones I had thought of for that character. So it's interesting. It could be some other things. We don't want to spoil too much, but you know, I mean, if you want me to change it, I can. We can talk. I mean, I'll be a little fun. annoying. I'll be mildly annoyed because I did ask you if you wanted smoke, but then you said drones, so you know. No, I know. Yeah, well, I'll only no. I only probably mulled out a little bit. No, I'm not annoyed at the drones. I like the drones. Cool. Okay, we're keeping it that way. I was because awesome. you said the the shape, but I think the shape could be interesting. Were they like are they weather related or were, what was the shape of the drones? They're they're like these little spheres with wings on it, and they float, yeah, and there's like an it, eye, kind of like the first cover, you know, kind of thing. But it's more in technology, and I, yeah, I think it cool. works great. Yeah, I think it's well, cool. It's really cool. It's it's I interesting. Mean, and we know what it's interesting is like coming up with. Uh, like just this. different things to do with the the same the character. It's just especially that's why I actually think this tech based villain. Like so, spoiler alert: he doesn't have superpowers on uh, underneath the armor. Um, but what's interesting? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Whatever. But uh, what's interesting is Good that job. the tech based character um, actually has allowed for such creative freedom. I actually find that that restriction of no powers has led to such great freedom. And uh, I think that's well, his, he does I, superpowers. Aren't the, the, it's not characters don't have to be built around a superpower. And no, even in, if it's superheroes, the characters don't have to be built around a superpower. That's actually not what matters the most. So the fact that he's, he, his thing is tech that does give him more versatility. That makes sense. I have a question, Vaughn, yeah. your artist, um, for the um, the image where you see the it's it's like the World War Three explosion with the uh, the wing character flying towards it, that art has a lot of like gray tones and stuff in it. Do you have a black yeah. and white version of the book? Yes, the black. Are you ready? Boom. Yes. Oh, but of the book. I mean, but, I would if I, like maybe in the future because if, I I did consider it, but money. You know, if I don't even know if people, it's like I want to make sure people want the book. Yeah. Period. You know, before yeah. I do, because I did consider that doing an artist edition, but it's like, um, I'm just curious because, um, yeah, there's so much tone in that double page. I was just wondering, it's beautifully does, illustrated. Does, yeah, does the artist ha do Better. just as much tone in the rest of the book? Ready? Boom. Yeah. I'll show you this real quick. Um, yeah, look at that. There you go. That's the original. Yeah. Oh, dude, I love it. Yeah, wow. that's awesome. Interesting. Is that was one of those things. Yeah, wow. so I remember um, that double page spread got me more backwards than any other piece of art I ever shared. And I will yeah. say, if it hits fifteen thousand dollars, everyone gets uh, the color version of this as an exclusive mini print. So, yeah, definitely make sure you get it. Um, I don't know what we're at now, but uh, yeah, definitely make sure. Uh, is, it, that's the awesome. is that the artist of the book, or is that someone else? This is art in the book, right? This is the artist of the book, yes. This is the mm -hmm. interior art. This is a double page spread early on in the book. It's it's badass. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Really, one really thing, cool. just make sure if you're doing saddle stitched, make sure where the saddle stitching will go. It looks like it would just go across his wing. Make sure you don't get too close to uh, any other faces or any important information. Gotcha. You're yeah, kidding. I actually I wanted to do saddle stitch, but then I realized that it was gonna bow at this page count. Oh, um, so it's a lot, it's gonna it's gonna perfect. go in even perfect. further if it's perfect bound. Um, and if the page count is higher, it's gonna pull in even further. You're gonna need more room. So yes, yeah, so that's one thing in production. You want to just 
Double there is no yeah there is no not bowing unless it's like a center spread on a saddle stitch or staple bound book or if you do spiral bound um there's tricks you can do for a double spread expand you essentially expand the middle also we talked about bleeds and stuff so you got to make sure you have bleeds and your everything is in a safe area but yeah i think i don't know i think this will be fine just double up the middle you know that trick right jimmy do you know about that I actually didn't know that about that until recently. Bancroft and the Diaz's do that because I never do spreads because I'm afraid what do they of do? a precise problem. But what you do is when, before you go to print, you take on – so those two. this is across two pages, right? You take the center section of both, both pages and double it. So it essentially prints double, but you won't – I'll show you anyways. You, tell your pre-press person to just, like, double it up so that it will still be All visible right. in the fold. I'll definitely ask you that because I want it. Uh, no, it looks great though. It looks, it looks yeah, very, very good. You know, one one thing you're gonna have to do is, you know, when if you want to translate this book and have it available to you uh, guys, Rini's friends in Colombia, you know, if you translate it in Spanish, <laughs> you might want to you might want to change the name because your book means you know means phenomenon no go. What? No Phenomenova. go. Nova. <laughs> Nova. Means, Nova means no go. No don't go yeah that's what it means that was a terrible joke that I was know. A terrible I, i've been thinking it up for like so long now that i just lost how all long of... have you wanted it to... it was never a since joke. i first heard phenomenova if you want oh, the God. link by the way I'm really... jimmy hello you want... everybody you, you made so many phenomena you made phenom... wait who came up phenomena never was jake right yeah. by the way where is jake yeah where is Narwhal that and all them Sleeping. like where yeah no, yeah, I know. He's probably earlier, sleeping. I think. Yes. Yeah, he. I asked him like if he wanted the link a while ago. I think I, I did. You know, he's in the different. You know, they're all in different time zones than you, right? Can you? No, the world revolves around me, Irene. <laughs> no, oh, no, means it's new, Thank like a new phenomenon. You Thank you, Tomas. You know. uh, yeah, he goes <laughs> new. Like he's a my friend in real life, so he's like, yeah, he knows the the deep explanation. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, so we've gotten the long box I'll rate and a bank thank you everybody for joining us hell yeah thank you for all the raids uh first of all if you don't if you don't mind um everybody uh please sub to our channel like the stream well yes you can do that as well sub to my channel and hit like that would really help but also check out the pinned comment we are promoting phenomena that just launched on phone my comment this is vaughn's book and we've been talking about it for the past yay couple hours or so but yeah here is the interior here's the campaign it looks amazing and it's already funded so take a look do you want to um do your pitch for this real quick and then i'll play the trailer again for everybody that just came in Absolutely. So Phenomenova is set 20 years after World War III and follows the idealistic son of a World War III war hero who was struck by lightning while holding a mysterious... Oh, did Rob just leave? Oh, holding, no. We all right. Well, holding a mysterious crystal and he finds himself back Death Raider, by the way. Rob's good people. Yes. Yeah, his book um, looks badass. Someone put the link in the... Rob on his good people. I uh, started off yes. my career working with him, for those of you that missed that whole thing. Um, so... Phenomenal of us at 20 years after World War III and follows the idealistic son of a war hero who was inspired by the brave heroes that came before him and decides he wants to be like them. So he dons his makeshift costume and tries to fight at a heist at a nuclear reactor, but finds himself in way over his head fighting a super villain that is totally out of his league. 64 pages of action in an age of constant deconstruction where superheroes have been taken over by very cynical people, I wanted to bring much needed optimism and hopeful energy to a genre that is increasingly being deprived of it and tell you guys a story that, you know, really I think is great. I mean, I put so much time into the writing of this story and this is just the beginning guys, but it is also a full story because there's so many books you get where it's like, you read it and it feels like, okay, well, I, now I guess I got to pay for the next one if I even care enough. I wanted to make sure that you care enough with issue one. And so I think you will get your money's worth. And uh, we have four covers, one by Rini that will be colored. And then we have, yes, uh, we have the main cover. Totally. We have this Final Fantasy VII homage cover, if you're a fan of Final Fantasy VII, by Juju. And then we have this cover by my good friend so Sukesha Ray. And guys, within the first 24 hours only, uh, you get to get this exclusive 
free trading card, but you got it back within the first 24 hours. And the thing about that, we never even went through the full tiers, but if you scroll down to the bottom of the tiers, sorry, we didn't even get through all the tiers yet, but uh, you could see uh, the camp. No, John. but we will get to that. Let's do, let's play the sure. trailer for everybody that just joined in. Also, right, I'm going to use the bathroom yeah. while you do that. If that's okay. You got another back okay. of John's lawn box. He said he just backed right now. Oh, shit. Awesome. Thank you, John's long box. He's the man. He's yeah. launching Thank a book you soon, very too. Much. I'll be on Thank his channel next like week, and then he'll be online. I'm going to be back in sec. All right. And uh, also, Dean, you are now modded. Um, there you go. And here are the covers. Oh, yeah, that's mine. Wait, that was almost did, did you show the trading card art? He said there was huh? a trading card. Oh yeah, that's card. all the way at the bot. Oh. Is it at the bot? There you go. That's a tra that's a trading card. So here it is, right here, Galvanite trading card. Um, so fun my comic. If you guys haven't used fun my comic before, fun my comic has a cart system. It's like a shopping cart. You don't have add-ons, but uh, you should be. Let's see. Do you have? Yeah, you can. It's basically you just add everything, and then the the actual um shipping will be added on after you dump everything in your cart so yeah this trading card is set to be 24 hours only let me scroll all the way back to the nice. bottom there so this won't be available after uh today tomorrow yeah and, 19 hours or so not even really 19 20 hours wh why is there um, somebody's wedding photo in there that's his dad oh that's little baby vaughn yes is that what that is yes wow yeah sweet isn't it super yeah. cute? Yeah. Levon's just looking away over there. Like <laughs> he looks the same. He looks exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna pull the pull the trailer. Play the trailer while Vaughn is being lazy and not pitching his book, and then we shall be right back. Everybody stay tuned. Dun dun dun. Let's go. When the whole world was dragged into World War III, brave men like my father fought on the front lines. And they weren't alone. That was 20 years ago. Now it's up to us to carry on their legacy. And every so often, the earth from which we come gives way for something new, something greater to be born, and with them, even greater threats to face. Bring it on! For you, Dad. Probably should have given everybody a headphones warning. So here's a belated headphones warning, everybody. <clears throat> there you go. The, the art inside of it, it looks great. really good. It, oh yeah, the art is, is really great. Philip is good. is a really great artist, and he's fast too. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, it was definitely good colors. It was good storytelling. It was easy to follow like, just mm -hmm. from those images. We have a surprise rare guest who is, I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's like he's back from the grave or something. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. Um, it's welcome. me, guys. It's, is it? Oh, yeah. We, we resurrected you. Exactly. Um, hello. Oh, I, I didn't realize that was. Where? Muted. Kelsey! Kelsey! Oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody told him there was free beef jerky. And, and no, so he, I got, we, uh, we lured him with food. Cookie. cookie. Mm. Just like any wild animal, you just you bit you bait them, you know, with food. Yeah, I promise you one, I would come hang Kelsey out. To come back? I didn't know that. I'll do that from now. <laughs> Kelsey, how you Juan's doing? Gonna, Juan's gonna give me a foot rub later in the uh, next convention. Fuck that! Oh that was a horrible deal. <laughs> well, you already made a the promise, Juan. You can't get out of it now. All right, so you wanna... the DMs, Kelsey. Oh, just... and 
<laughs> just coming from uh, John's <laughs> long box where we did a little long Dude, box John's raid. Long box same time, you got really a Bogan good. raid, it looked like. Yeah, yeah, you guys both came in Thank at the same you, time. everyone. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank what... you for the support, everyone. Mm. Look at how cool Kelsey is, dude. So we were, watching, cool. we were watching a draw stream that, that he does every week called uh, called Grey Bush. And Kelsey. <laughs> I don't think that. Grey Bush. <laughs> and so Kelsey was. I don't think that's was, what it's called. That's oh, our old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and so Kelsey was drawing, right? And it was over, standing over my shoulder. She's like, oh, I love that. You know, I love the um, that he's drawing the character. It's her favorite character. So I just type in the chat. I was like, hey, dude, I love that character. You know, I love the character. How much do you want for it? Dude, he sent this to Anna for free. My oh, wife, yeah. Anna. Forgot about Yo! it because she she loved the character. She loves it's her favorite character. Electro. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. this is an original Kelsey. I right told here. you to tell everybody the that was three grand. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, three grand, three 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 grand in pesos. Um, well, he just totally betrayed you right <laughs> after yeah. the show. That's awesome. Well, I like to do nice things like that occasionally. This would be worth but, like ten thousand dollars in five years. Or maybe, maybe. It's beautiful. I got man. Lomax back at forty-five. Awesome. Hey. Thank you so much. Yeah, Hell just yeah. got off with John. We we were looking at um, going over uh, Warlock from Jim Starlin. This is a great book. Yeah. We're going like page by page of this stuff. Uh, so we're actually going to do more next week before John launches his book on Mike Bancroft's channel. So, um, you know, tune in for that. Uh, First, the warlock, then his book. Hell so, yeah. how's it going? How's the phenomenon, phenomenon going? Uh, it's actually. Why don't we? Why don't we refresh and find out how it's going? We shall. Let's do that. Oh, shall no. we, shall we play sets? Shall we? I mean, it's gonna go up. I know it's going to. But come on, two grand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. That's the Kelsey <laughs> bump. I, I think this is bump. time for another. <laughs> Kelsey <laughs> bump. That's the Kelsey bump, right? I like, I like how he came on the stream, but immediately <laughs> he's like, it's my stream. It's okay. It's Kelsey. He can get away with anything. Vaughn, well, you, you, better, you better thank Kelsey for this this <laughs> night. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. you, you owe You're... him so much. It's, it's all thanks to Kelsey. <laughs> That's why I can conceive that. Hmm. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, 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 when, when when we hear the word Kelsey bump, we're like, oh no, you better get that checked. Um, yeah, hope it's been yeah. Nine. I don't even know what that means, but that's slightly disturbing. Oh it's just God. a rash, man. man. <laughs> I do like that. Maremi says it's a Rini rash. Yeah, everyone, everyone's oh, a Rini rash. rash. Oh, that's good. no rush. rush. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. Jimmy, you have to make everything weird. <laughs> Rini oh. Rush. Oh, is that like in the throat? Is that in the throat? That's, that's Rini. Jimmy. What? <laughs> Jimmy's got to make it weird. Oh, God. God damn it, Jimmy. That went from like a sweet little oh, the Rini Rush to like, uh, you might have <laughs> that's a... Awkward. Jimmy, that's just what he does. You know what? You, you get demoted for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Kelsey Clomp. Cam said that's the Kelsey you know, get, clomp. What? I'm getting cookie crumbs what is on a me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, no, I'm drumming. <laughs> I want a cookie. These are um I got these on accident. I thought they were oatmeal raisin, but it's um walnut and cranberry and um oatmeal. And they're delicious. Freaking delicious. Oh. Don't don't uh, don't miss out on a cranberry cookie. They're pretty damn good. I don't think I've had a cranberry. I've cookie. never even heard of such a thing. Got it on an accident. It was damn good. <laughs> Chad, you're getting you're getting wild there. Oh my gosh. Do you want him further? No, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Jimmy's cool people. He's just uh, a little wild sometimes. Be he sounds awful. That. <laughs> Hell yeah! Look at that. Almost at 2500. You know what? Let me refresh again. Yeah, you're gonna twenty five hundred. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, there you come on. We, come on, we gotta get to twenty five hundred. Okay, we um uh, we have to. Let's see if we can get to three thousand at least. Okay, because I do have a stream with Ali, but um. Oh, I didn't but know. Let's see if we could get to three thousand. I mean, it's my biweekly stream that I do I, all the time. Listen, I only pay so much attention to women. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bring her in here. Too much sausage oh, in this place. So, well, anyway, what were you saying? So, 
So anyways, <laughs> about my book, Fiendish, I guess uh, this whoever the fuck that was on my channel doesn't want to sell his fucking book. Has the problem with women, he says. So Fiendish, everybody, it's available on my website now. See this nice shop I have over here? All three books are available for purchase on FiendishComment.com. Oh, who's that in? Hello? Oh, so oh you got demoted. Hey, Vaughn. Oh, 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 I've learned. Hi. Where you been? Hi. I've learned nice my lesson. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you that you. Fire Thank cover is you. badass. Oh, oh yeah, thank cool. you. I'm very proud of that. Yeah. I have the books. I have the book. Oh, I'm so happy. I took a video of it as well. I'm I'm so proud of it. I have like world building videos and character profiles as well. I have some cool stuff coming for my channel. But yeah, anyways. Um, so yeah. <laughs> moving moving on. Uh if Yvonne is willing to behave, we can go back to pitching his book. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm behaving. I'm yeah, you're on the bottom, pal. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can work your way back up. You know, thank you, Harumi. Yeah. In the you, rankings, no, oh, uh, yeah, everyone do back fiendish though. Set. Fiendish is fantastic. It's a great book, and uh, thank you. I think everyone will uh, like it. You know, I mean, I, I, it's one of my favorite indie <laughs> comics right now. But uh, <laughs> that is so sincere. What a salesman! <laughs> <laughs> I want you. What is pitching his own book? I mean, it is your own book. You're like, yeah, this will change superhero comics, and this is like, this is my dream project, and this is you're you're never gonna be able to forget this story. And it, it's like, oh yeah, back Irene's book. Uh, it's, it's good. Like, it's good, here, man. Here's how you do yeah, it. it Ron, Ron's got to say it's a phenomenova of a book. It's a <laughs> gotta like sell sell both. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's that's the only way you can sell. It's okay, I forgive mm -hmm. you. Not really. I'll just remember that forever in the back. Somehow I feel like this is what it would be like for a woman on a date with you, you know, like <laughs> a woman on the date yeah, with uh, with who? With, with Vaughn? Vaughn? Yeah. What, what, like wait, what would it be? What would it be like? He'd be like, uh, so what's your name? Incredibly Asking, charming. Well, that's great. Let me tell you about my book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen. If she's not back in my book, she can't support wait, me. If she's not back in your book, you're not backing her. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Oh man, we're not supposed to talk about our comics all the time on dates. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I, I talk about it. mine all the time. Pay attention to other people. That's why I go on dates. Potential backers. <laughs> Jimmy's got <laughs> a dating I'll app. I'll tell you what. He's, he's like, he's like, he's like. Oh, by the way, I have my, uh, a wife. But thank you for backing the book. No, your wife's like, aren't you? Bit you got to get to work, Jimmy. Get out there and get a date. And sell some comics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all know women buy oh, comics yeah. at a high numbers, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did I? Uh... Von, John Zobox is Vaughn on a date. I can always spend my beliefs so far. Listen, all right? Ooh. I went on. <laughs> you guys know. Are brutal. Oh, oh, you know, I uh, I went on like I think like two dates in college. Uh, what were, what was his name? Congrats. I, it, no, I mean, but Two. they didn't go. Well, they didn't go great. If I'm being honest with you, one of them told them told me at, like halfway through after flirting with me, she's like, "Yeah, I kind of have a boyfriend." Like, what the fuck? Like, why? What? Did she I swear to God, like the horror stories I hear are insane. And I'm then like, it's can like, you can you figure that out? Well, no, it's that's okay. that's an opportunity, Vaughn. That's an opportunity. She says, "Kinda." You mean kind of? So listen, you kind of got to figure it out. And no, then she, was, it she was letting you know that the relationship was on the rocks, and you could just knock it over. I'm not that's listen. Bullshit, you got to figure that's that out. Because, Jimmy knows on, what's that's up. Something He's something had like twelve wives. That's, whether a woman or a man does that to you, it's like, oh, I'm already in a relationship, and then I'm here. I'm interested in you. I'm showing real interest in you, and on a date with you. That means she can, he, she or he can turn around and do it to you as well. That means this person is just a cheater at heart. So no, it's not like, oh my gosh. What was his name, Rooney? Who hurt you? Tell us about <laughs> it. No, this has happened. I mean, I don't date. Look at her. She goes, she said, this has happened. I mean, I don't date. You almost confessed. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I've had like, what, three relationships my whole life. But um, this happens. It's just the truth. Rini, were you That's one of true. Jimmy's ex-12 wives? <laughs> what? Which one were you? Number eight? No. Oh yeah. yeah, I just repressed the memories. Oh gosh, it was so traumatic. Oh. We all try to repress. That's why she drinks, Jimmy. Jimmy. That's why she oh, drinks Jimmy's now. Ex -wife. Oh, oh, I'm a I'm an ex of Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> Before I had the beard, I was I was much more feminine looking. Oh yeah, I can imagine. But I'm glad you like kept abreast. Healthy Shannon. <laughs> Before the Alex, yeah, the memories are all coming back now, everybody. Oh, 
All right, but, now uh, it's awkward. I'm gonna leave. See you later. Don't, we, <laughs> we might be distracted. What you guys get, by the way. So I know most. So I wanted to make sure I charge at least. I, here's the thing. I wanted to charge really cheap for my comic until I realized how much goddamn money it costs to make one. It's really easy for me. Oh, I was yeah. like, I'll charge really cheap. And then I was like, holy shit. Uh, so I did, but I did want to charge a little less. So Wait until you get the distribution part. Then it's really Yeah, that's fun. why when I was looking at that, I had so I was talking to someone potentially about putting on newsstands, and I was like, listen, maybe for my next book. Um, but uh, so for twenty dollars, you get the main cover. Uh, and then for twenty-five, so the main cover will also eventually be on a website later. And then for twenty-five dollars are the campaign exclusive covers. So there's three covers, including Rini's cover right there in the uh, the campaign exclusive variant covers. And what's cool about that is, okay, so uh, yeah, you get that one, and then you can also get any combination of that. You can get three of the covers, you can get two of the covers, you can get all four of the covers. And if you get uh, pay 20 extra dollars after getting all four, you will also get a poster of the main cover. There's tons of other stuff. And every order, if you back within the first 24 hours, you get an exclusive free trading card from my friend uh, Jules, Juju. And then you can also, but if one free uh, one free trading card isn't enough, you scroll down to the bottom. Which one yeah. comes with the Kleenex box? They all do. Oh, okay. Good. Only, <laughs> only if Kelsey is the person ordering The it. Vaughn's cleanup box, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to know more about this ring. Kleenex is what I meant to say. <laughs> so the, are those happy tissues or sad tissues? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, it's just my animal, animal magnetism. Sorry, it's <laughs> affecting the room. Sorry, sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Keeps it lively. Okay, so 70 plus shipping. One main cover into two variants. What's happening here? <laughs> And then, yeah, beautiful stuff here, by the way. Love this. Thank work. you. Yeah, dude. It was it was also a pleasure. I love sending this to other artists and like uh getting because I because like obviously I want to send this to artists and like get their feedback. And they're like, this is good. I'm like, oh, I did it. Like I actually, you know, I, mean, <laughs> I did it. I didn't do shit. I just wrote, you know, words on a page and then told them to draw it. But like I, you know, I feel but my artist was like over the moon, especially when I was like, Oh, yeah, like all Kenneth wrote for Kenneth wrote for just said like good job or something in a chat or tap. He, he goes, My artist goes, Kenneth Rogue Ford is my hero. He liked that. I'm like, Yeah, he liked your hair. And he's like <gasps> Like you know, um, but it's like you, you know. He, I was Wait like till he gets off. an attaboy from Jimmy Reyes. Oh, he's gonna, <laughs> yeah. he's gonna lose like, his mind. Uh, yeah, I mean, like his stuff was just. I, I was very painstaking in my process because choosing an artist, I found that it boiled down to a few things, right? I found it. Uh, one of the things I found him very picky about is faces. There's artists that can draw almost everything great, but if I don't like the way, why they draw are you more us, picky on your artists than you are on the women you try to date? No, I am picky. That's why oh, I man. don't. That's I had that I one loaded, go. but I didn't pull the trigger, Jimmy. Well, me. why didn't you settle for the confused, insane people you knew in college? That would have been. But like, but coincidentally, there was one girl, there was one girl who tomorrow. yelled at me. I never mind. I don't want to get but coincidentally, <laughs> what he has in common with the <laughs> artists, the artists that work on his book and the women he dates is coincidentally money cost. Can you afford them? What are you talking about? That's all women. I mean, what? Yeah, so back this book <laughs> so we can get uh, Vaughn a date because it costs money. <laughs> yeah, that'll, costs yeah money. That'll, that'll, that'll work. I'll be like, hey, baby, I, uh, I mean, how did you make this money? Comic books? Oh, my Wait, hair. I don't know if ha telling the chat that you're uh, you're using this money to get dates would really help, but <laughs> exactly, it's not. It's going to the book, fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, after oh, it's gone God. to the book, the well, let's get it. let's keep. I mean, listen, two, comics cost more than a uh, uh, shocking secret. It costs more than a thousand dollars to make the book. So, you know, Dude, shocking. Comics are expensive to produce and to ship and everything. The only way you can get the price down really, really low is if you use like newsprint or if you print really, really high volume. <laughs> but first of all, these your book is 60 plus pages and a lot of crowdfunding books are 60 plus pages. And honestly, the only the price point is hiked up higher by shipping. But without shipping, 
25-ish, the 25, 30 bucks, that's comparable to, if you look on Amazon, look at mainstream books or even image books, mm -hmm. that same page count, it is 25 to 30 bucks. So it's a comparable price. It's just because we are shipping it ourselves, the shipping costs more because that shipping is insane. But yeah, it's this is a reasonable price point. Yeah, I mean, I want to- Plus you get a bookmark. That's true. You get extra chachis too. You don't get a bookmark, but you do get that double page spread right there that everyone loves. Now like, we get a bookmark. What are you talking about? As a poster? Will, maybe <laughs> that one, you'll get that as a mini print. Um, oh, because okay. Every Because everyone, I actually had people vote on Twitter, but I knew it, I knew it was going to win. Um, so you like, folded? That, when I posted that double page spread, it was like Bancroft was like, all right, that, I'm using that for my stream thumbnail. It was like everyone, like I got so many backers just from posting that. It's pretty badass. It is. It's good. And it made me realize, because here's the thing, that's just showing like some of what happened in World War III, which is the setup for this story. But as I was writing the setup for this story, I was like, okay, that in itself is a story. So I do want to make a prequel story to Phenomenova at some point called Crusader Corps that will feature the heroes down there. Oh. And uh, the mini series towards the end of it, you will see that battle, of course. Uh, but let's get through this story first. You know, it was as I was writing the backdrop, <laughs> I was writing the backstory and I was like, this is a good story. Uh, let me read this. And, but uh, yeah, so the main cover is twenty dollars, and then the variant covers are twenty-five dollars <laughs> each. Then obviously you can get the posters, and then uh, you can get the trading card comes free with your order. The mm -hmm. mini print comes free with your order. What is that? What's it? it? Looks like Batman in the Batcave. What is that? So that is my main villain for issue one, Dark Cloud. Ah, uh, so. Very cool. Yeah. Good Did you say his name is Dark Cave? Dark Cloud. <laughs> Cloud. Dark Cloud. I honestly, I still like the gray or white suit look. It's a cool suit design regardless. It was fun to draw. Yeah, like drawing. Uh, yeah, because I, I mean, I wanted his suit to be, you know, black was what I came up with. But obviously, we don't have the colored art yet. Is I wanted him to, and actually, I'm glad that Jules decided to make it more uh, colorful. It's really weird. She has like three names in chat. She, I remember one time she was like, oh, yeah, people, uh, they'll know me as Juju in chat. And I'm like, what? Um, but, yeah, anyway, she has, she colored it a different color than what I envisioned. And uh, she didn't color this piece. She colored the trading card and her own color. Sometimes it's not always about you, Vaughn. Wait, wait, show the team. Whoa, what, go back. What? Wait. Ah, Let artists have their team. say, too. Go back, go up to the team. Why do you Ready? have, like, 50 people on this book? All right. I'll, yeah, oh, my God. Why so aren't I in there? Put me next because to the you're booth. Okay. Kelly, Kelly, the all right, Kelly. Yeah. Kelsey, you want to drop? You want to drop your fifty current projects and join my team, Kelsey? No, just put me in there next to the chick with the boobs, right there. So, the so Keisha <laughs> Ray. Oh, we uh, so she be... did the first cover, so Keisha. Yeah, um, yeah. Everyone was sipping. Everyone was when I interviewed her on my channel. They were like, "Oh, this is Reenie's replacement." I'm like, "What? <laughs> what? Nobody can replace Reenie. How dare I know? I yeah. there for like How two two you. shows." <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, well, she's my... on right now. Oh, I gotta go. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's another me. I gotta go, but we'll be needing those napkins. So, I mean, we those got, uh, so obviously, my oh, show, I'm the creator, then Philip Cruz is the penciler, inker. Then we got Jesse. Are Hank, you doing finger uh, guns and then are you doing this little? Number yeah, right I was gonna... <laughs> this guy. I was at the... Why are you shooting at us? You want we're back in your book and you're gonna shoot at us? Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait, wait, hey, are you robbing yeah. us? Is that what's going on? My book. Very um, disrespectful. Like, I mean, yeah, you've learned yeah. that from this stream, though. He is generally disrespectful. <laughs> That's not true. I love my chat and my audience and my fellow. He got backers by pointing guns at us. And then we got the uh, the letterer George right there. <laughs> Have another drink, Reedy. <laughs> the editors. One of my editors, Reed, is in chat. And then we got uh, for one of the. I remember like because I the first couple pages you see all the heroes from World War Three, and I had a specific visions for all of them. And I was like, all right, like to my artist, he's like, do you want to design all of them or do you want someone else to design some of them? He's like, yeah, if you could have someone else to design some of them. So uh, I did have a, an artist come in and design some of those characters. He did a great job. And you then have to pay him, all these people? Yes. Oh, my God. No wonder. I, Everybody support this book. I'm scattered. <laughs> this guy's going to owe money. <laughs> For real, dude. Uh, they're they're going to be pointing work. finger guns at him. And then, uh, <laughs> Versus Starting out, just 
Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't mean to cut you off, but I think well, seeing that you have such a large creative team, you have multiple editors, You, I think you're doing a lot of things right because a lot of books, especially indie or crowdfunded books, it's a small team and it's because it's hard to find people that you work well with and, you know, like for myself, starting out, I didn't have such a large creative team, but more eyes on a project generally makes it better as long as you have a, somebody to direct where it goes. And I look at this and I see, I feel like this is a project that's been well thought out. This is yeah. complex. But the one thing you are doing wrong, and Kelsey will agree with me, I know this, is that you made the hot chick's picture the same size as everybody else's picture. <laughs> Need to blow that sucker up. Uh, well, I want to. <laughs> Make that a big picture. We want to post. I got to interview her. Oh, again I just zoomed in. Channel. That's okay. <laughs> my bad. I got to interview her on my channels. I know because here's the thing. I knew that she'd bring an audience, you know. But uh, but she's also talented. You know, she's great. She yeah, did, that she cover did the first cover. Um, yeah. Then uh, Jules did the trading card and the Final Fantasy VII homage cover, and then Rini, obviously her cover, and then my buddy Zach. He's great at drawing tech. And stuff, mm. and so he did that mini print, and then initially yes. Matt Yaki was gonna do one of the things, uh, but then it ended up being uh, my buddy Nick, who just uh, he's crowdfunding his book that I'm editing. I was while I was working with him, I was like, "Hey, can you color this?" So he colored that print up there, and then I got my buddy Bobby did some of the logo designs. He did the Rebel Oasis logo, and then the uh, other another guy did the Phenomenova logo. So, you read it too <laughs> at the same time. I'm sorry, I didn't hear a word you said. Unfortunately, it's a super chat and it must come up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh I was too god. busy reading the super chat. <laughs> I knew he read it that that's why he said. See you, Tomas. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, pal. <laughs> it's awesome. Dude. It's, it's awesome. a super chat. I have to read it. I have to read it. Snarky, Snarky is supporting us. He's supporting me, and he's here supporting your lunch. Uh for one night I thank you, Snarky. That's the only finger bang ball I'll ever do. <laughs> <laughs> a, couldn't you. even get through it without a straight face. I, I appreciate and that. And Snarky, what's even golden Your about mom, that is that Cole's mo Vaughn's mom is watching the stream too. Oh, he's been <laughs> promoted. I, I hope she's I forgot not. she was. I yeah. hope she's not. I know. <laughs> no, my she's family members. I forgot my hey, family Vaughn's members mom. are on the mailing list. Welcome <laughs> to reality. <laughs> Oh my God! Thankfully, the hell God, that is comics. It is YouTube. I don't know what they expected. <laughs> Professionalism? That's not what we're about here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> on your team, my mom is Matt Rainey. So really <laughs> on your oh. team, uh, Vaughn, Bobby, is that a buff woman or is that a man? I can't tell in that photo. Jesus Christ, dude! That's what? A man. Bobby, that is Bobby, on that's the bottom right corner. Is that a, hold on, let me zoom in. Oh, that a, a it looked like a woman with like super muscles. That's uh, you were not looking at the super muscles. You were looking at the <laughs> breast, slightly the man breast, like breasts, right? Jimmy, that you saw that. Jimmy's radar is a little broken these days. I think <laughs> he's been married too many times. He yeah. can't see the. <laughs> yeah, it's a trap, Jimmy. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that, I gotta, I gotta split. I gotta lay flat. Uh, my back is all right. Me. Thanks all right. for joining me. Thank Kelsey. you so hey. much for coming on, Kelsey. Hey, yeah, great. Kelsey. Good luck, I, Vaughn. Now, uh, tell us how to summon you so I can summon you for my, Sunday. My mom off. texted me Maybe saying, I'll I am out still on. Or something. Yeah. No! <laughs> We're sorry. You. We're sorry. I told you, Irene, if you could do this at like nine in the morning, I'll be there. You know, like, just okay. well, wake up early. Eat yeah, some breakfast, gonna... do a draw stream oh. early in the morning. It'd be great. That's never oh, you're going on my to schedule. Happen, wow, you like me? Yeah. You we get up know. early. All right, it's been a blast. Morning, uh, good luck to you, everyone. Yeah, thanks for coming on. See you, Rini. See you, See you Jimmy. Bye. Bye, chat. Bye. See you. Bye. Oh man. Ah, Kelsey's awesome. Kelsey's I nice. apologize, Vaughn's mom. <laughs> it is YouTube. We get rowdy around here. Okay, everybody, on your best behavior. Let's finish yeah. looking at the tears. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> Big sister mode. Okay, look, all the yeah. variant cover combinations. Okay, so you put together bundles because Fun My Comic doesn't have add ons. You kind of add yeah. everything to a cart, like I explained before, but you just put together a bunch of different combinations, different covers, and posters, and it is essentially all these options here, right? Does that summarize it correctly? I'm sorry, I was reading the chat, making fun of. Uh, I'm sorry. God <laughs> damn it. 
I'm sorry. Well, really... I'm just going to assume I'm right. So, so it's all. So it's just really the four covers. Everything is a combination of that, and then uh, and then it is that you can get that with the poster, and then all the big boy prints, and that's it. But then also at the bottom, if you scroll down, within only within the first 24 hours, if you want to really want more copies of that trading card, if the free copy isn't enough, get as many more as you want, but it's $5 each. And then also if you want, there's that mini print, everyone gets that mini print if you back the campaign. But if you want more copies of it, just $3. That's it. Okay. And uh, 95 plus shipping is all the covers, all of them. All right. Nice. Very nice. And uh, 115, all covers. And the poster, and that's the poster of the main cover, right? The one by Philip. Uh, let's see. He's still not, he's still not paying attention. To yeah, no, saying. I am. Yeah, that's the main cover is by Philip. No, I wanted because I wanted my main cover. Here's the thing. Like, I wasn't opposed to the idea of something else being the main cover. But A, I got that one way before the others, right? Before I even started interiors, I wanted that single. Because it's like that image conveyed what the story was about. And once I had that, I knew I could trust them for the uh the interiors but um i wanted my main cover to do the main cover um but i also i generally speaking like it when covers do something with the story um i don't like it when covers have nothing to do with the story i mean rarely sometimes it works sometimes it works but that's um, true yeah story relevant covers generally are better i you know i like that and uh well, with this general one, you can get away with it. But even then, like Jules' yeah. homage what? cover works. Um, you know, all the covers work. It's and still the homage cover is still so story relevant. You just found a way to kind of merge the different stories. Yeah, elements. I mean, even literally in my script, I'm like, hey, this is a like I use the Final Fantasy VII image as like, hey, he looks up at the reactor kind of like this. Um, so I was like, why am I not making that a cover? The new game is out. Anyway, yeah, it's just those four. Uh the post so the main cover okay thank you yeah that's what i was yeah, asking I okay cool all right i was considering <laughs> others but i was like i figured i'd just do the main i if you guys want down the line i'd love to do posters of other it won't be printed again as a cover none of the variants will be printed again as a cover but if maybe other pieces of art i'd consider using it you know i have i own the rights but uh yeah cool i mean if you have a web store all these covers can go up as posters it's yeah. Kind of a, uh, I mean, all the all the art for the campaign. You find posters or cover art that looks good, even back covers or whatever. Um, make some merch. That'll help too. I don't see you have a lot of merch here, but I do like that it's a very book focused campaign. The merch can be saved for a web store later. Um, everything here is about the books. That makes sense. And here Wait is a your father passed away at ninety at, at yeah. the nine eleven twin yeah. tower. Yeah, so I wanted to dedicate the book to him. Um, so I, you know, I thought about it a lot, uh, and it was like my story felt like it was missing something, and I, uh, I didn't want to make it too much of a self insert or like a pity party, but I was like, I wanted my character to have something that drives him, and I was like, you know what, everyone's gonna call him a self insert anyway, and uh, that was part of it. But I also, I really thought about like why superheroes meant much to, it was a lot of things it was like i went back to why superheroes mean a lot to me and to get personal for a second you know when i was a little kid yeah my dad uh died in 9 11 and i was like i needed a sense of justice in the world like i was very angry and i didn't have a male figure and th this is why i hate when people tear down superheroes because they in a way kind of saved my life and it's almost like a thank you that i'm writing in a way like a love mm -hmm. letter to why it means so much to me is it, and i get why people can be sick of five billion marvel movies i'm not like personally insulted if people are like i don't like the latest you know i get it it's fine when i was in middle school i might have taken it personally but you know i've gotten a little older um but i wanted to really solidify why i love this genre and when i was making this comic i decided well i'd make it that the dad character i wanted he's the only character that I actually modeled after a family member. My main character, I just described to an artist, a blonde kid. Oh, it just so happened to, you know, <laughs> but like this guy, I actually, I actually, if you look at the images, I did use reference images of my dad. And I was like, because my mom, when she was, she helped me fund it. She was like, I want your father to be represented physically. Um, and I want him to be a war hero. 
And so if you look it down, like I Beautiful. made a character, a hero that fought during the war. He said, I want your father, if you're going to represent him, I want him to be a hero. And so I, I was like, of course, you know, I, I would not immortalize my dad. And uh, so I did that. And uh, yeah, I wanted it to be, obviously the writing still needs to be good, but I wanted it to be like something that's remembered forever. You know, um, there's a there's a comedian actor named Pete Davison. I don't know if you ever yeah, seen him. He lost before. his dad too. Yeah. He also lost his father too. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Was yeah, my dad, dad. I lost my my dad and my uncle. So his younger brother. And maybe I'll dedicate something to my uncle later on. Were, I did. Were, were they in government like government services or no, were they? they uh, my dad worked for Cantor Fitzgerald. So oh, he so uh, he was working. He was a uh, senior vice president of a. Uh, an equity division so that's what he did he was but, in the building when yeah when the, he was 98th floor of north tower i want to say like he had started his own division wow man yeah so i wanted to dedicate it to, to him and uh that was one of the, the key things and again i really wanted to tie it into the theme of superheroes and legacy and um doing making something that's greater than yourself and uh, like, that's why, so my main character, I always in my pitch include the idea that he's inspired by those that came before him. I mean, even building it back to like, look at my comics that I have here, right? They were inspired by writers that, I remember one time I was getting comics signed by Walt Simonson and he looks at me, he goes, Dude, he goes, were you even alive when these came out? And I was like, no, <laughs> he's like, good for you. You know, it's like, I, I like the idea of just taking things before and just carrying them, just carrying the torch. I wanted to bring that up without doing the whole use. Like there's a reason my character becomes Galvanite instead of just the, the next golden gallon, right? There's an idea because I want them to, I still am creating something new and, uh, but inspiring what came before. So that's part of why I decided not to make the, the dad character a superhero is, because I wanted him to be kind of like an everyday guy that just rose to the occasion. Uh, and then he's a different kind of hero than his son is, is, but yeah, mm -hmm. that was what I, um, I wanted to do. And again, I didn't want to make it like a, that's why I put it towards the bottom of my campaign is because I don't want it to be like, I want it to be, it will be probably the first page in the book be dedicated to my dad. Right. But I didn't want it to be like, I'm selling based on, on pity points or anything like that. But I did want to, you know, Pay respects to my dad, and then carry that legacy into the next yeah. issue. The next he was issue. he was a hero to you. He meant something. He yeah. meant something to you. And then this is something very important to you. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. And you don't have to explain really why. You know, you put it in there, but yeah, it, it's yeah. not. I don't think anyone is seeing it as um. Yeah, yeah. it's it's your inspiration. Yeah, and it's yeah. been your inspiration for how you got here. So um, it's it's beautiful that you put it in there. Thank you. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I um. Yeah, I want to make him badass, so I was like, I'll make him like a World War Three hero. So yeah, awesome. You you haven't changed at all. I just want to point that out. I I mentioned that Jimmy. Well, you what do you mean? Uh, well, the, the little so baby. Anyways, uh, yeah, my hair's my hair's gotten cool. curlier, in my opinion. Like, oh, he's you've like, grown some hair. So I know, but not even that. I think genuinely, <laughs> as I've gotten older, if you look like, there's older pictures Hold of my on. hair look was. That. My hair was straighter back then. Look at look at it now. Like it. Curled. So are you? Shut the fuck up, Jimmy. <laughs> I love Jimmy. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I know. Oh my I, gosh. Oh, <laughs> that's such a pretty picture. Yeah. Uh, see, yeah, I wanted that side <laughs> by side. Um, my mom also, with all with the recent trend of redhead characters getting erased, she was like, "You better make sure the mom is a redhead." Because uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but they've been taking. I tell my mom every time there's an. So my mom's a redhead, and every time they're replacing a new redhead character, I tell my mom, "I'm like, mom, they got another one." <laughs> the ginger side. I don't even get it. I don't understand the cultural reason. I mean, they're I don't. Even, there's like barely any to begin with. But every time I'm like, I'm like, mom, like Mary Jane and Spider Man. Mom, the Little Mermaid. I remember when I told my mom, I was like, mom, they got the Little Mermaid. She's like, no. My Aww. mom's like, no. <laughs> You know, all the things you thought they wouldn't change, they keep on. Oh, it's like surely you wouldn't be corrupt enough That's to change this. There will be no. a uh, little orphan Annie. They I got a little orphan Annie too. Yeah, oh, that was early be, though. 
there yeah, will be a uh, yeah, there yeah. will be a redhead ma- because in part because of that there will be a redheaded uh, character of the phenomenon of a teen introduced in the later issue a uh, red redheaded character she has red based powers she's here to stay okay so there will be redhead representation in in this story representation yeah. It's a very diverse and representation representationy. Yeah, I mean, story. my main character know. might be white. I don't know. It's the he's kind of ambiguous. Is strong in this book. <laughs> yeah, just I can't tell. This shining, <laughs> glow in the daylight, blonde hair. I don't know if this guy's white. <laughs> you yeah. can just make up something in the future and say this is. Oh, it doesn't make sense. No, I mean, yeah, I it doesn't, none of that stuff matter. He's white. <laughs> yeah, none of that stuff should matter. We had, like, when we started scrolling through this campaign, I, I noticed, I was like, I asked, why is there a wedding photo in the campaign? Yeah. Like, trying to figure it out, but now that you gave me the backstory, oh, forget it. Can't tell any of my jokes. Yeah. No, it's okay. You're still going to, though. I know you will. The minute okay. we, we go back to looking at the covers and the art, like, I, it's okay. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I was just, you know, I was just, you know, it's, yeah. Oh, we weren't yeah, looking at the tears yet. But yeah, if you, that's the the. So there we go. So we got. I mean, bro, the tears are pretty. So there's the five of everything tier. Okay, so I thought the wedding was a tear. I thought your mom was trying to marry you off. You know, you can marry Vaughn for for five dollars extra. <laughs> really cheap, real cheap. Getting a mail order husband. From, uh, yeah, your mom was like, we got a stretch goal. We're just getting married. Uh, I didn't know we were back. To I don't care if it's to a man or a woman. Just get him married. Just get him. Oh well, I would care. <laughs> but they're like we need him right. out he's been here too I, I gotta get i gotta get going I, I promised anna we would watch a uh, movie so i'm what gonna get movie? rolling everyone is having movie night okay well it's it's a uh, rebel moon 2 we're we're gonna review it on mm-hmm. sunday so and then uh somebody in the chat said that they're gonna refund that five dollars after after they get you in the mail <laughs> What do you mean? Refund what five dollars? The five dollars to marry you. So it's, it's okay. uh, oh god. Well, yeah. um, hey, listen, <laughs> I I take no responsibility for any of this. This is not go- coming through me. I'm just here advertising for fun. <laughs> <laughs> I absolve myself of whatever happens henceforth. <laughs> And then whatever you catch. No, I'm just kidding. Von's, oh I'm my sure. god. Oh my god. We've established he's a virgin, so I did, he's, he's I did clean. not did not need to know all of this stuff, Jimmy. Oh my god. He's got zero Jimmy miles on, ladies. Still watching. Oh Jimmy yes, I'm, I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to get him. Movie. Okay. Okay. Five hundred dollars <laughs> or five of everything. Okay, thousand dollars for I'll see you guys. I'll take Let's it easy. Goodbye. Thank you for coming on, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. Um, yeah, so then there's the uh, the tears. I, I was just like, just in case if there's even one person that backs you to these two tears, it's worth adding. So if you go to the, if you're like, I, I don't want one of everything. I want five of everything. There is a $500 tier. And if you back that, you also get your name in the book with a special thanks. And then if you're extra insane, but uh, yeah, so that's also includes five trading cards and five mini prints and five posters as well as five of each captain book. And if you're extra insane for the, you get for the producer tier, you get credited as a producer. Uh, you get a handwritten. Thank you. note from me, 15 copies of the main cover, 10 copies of each variant cover, uh, 10 dark cloud, mini prints, 10 mailing list trading cards. Uh, plus if you back in the first two days, uh, or if the first day I'll throw in the free one, um, and you get free a free digital copy whenever it goes digital. If you're a producer, you'll get a free digital copy of that. And that is an over $1,260 value. The shipping comes with both of those big orders, so you don't pay shipping for either of those. So, yeah, make sure to back those. You will get more than what you pay for value-wise uh, if you back either of those big ones. And you get your name in the book, so make sure you do that. So I would say these are for collectors and or this one looks like five of everything. This looks like for stores. So like retailer perks. I've seen. Well, there is a retailer peer, peer. Oh, you have a one that's retailer. Well. This is go, scroll down. Kind of like, okay. This is kind of like a heightened retailer perk. This, but these are more for collectors though. And then you. Or I don't know. Retail. Whoever wants to. I don't care what they are. If they spend a thousand dollars, it's like, hey, thank you. Well, 
I mean, I think it doesn't matter, I suppose. Uh, but you do have a retailer here, so that is smart. Well done. So you got to make sure you're a retailer if I'm going to give you the discount to give you. If you, you listen, it's it's 50% off uh, plus shipping. But uh, if you're a retailer, like, yeah, I'll happily give you the discount. Just, you know, verify with me. Let me know. And then, of course, if you scroll down a little further, if you want those bite, you will get a mini print and you will get a trading card with every single order. But huh? if you want more, there you go. Uh, you can get more. But again, the trading card, uh, you will get, you know, you can get as many of them as you want. So if you want to get, those are going to be only for the first 24 hours. And that's it. Right. So the, the trading cards, we... Everybody who orders in the first 24 hours, which is until, like, tomorrow, well, the stream has been going for almost three hours. Wow, so, if you have, like, 20, 21 hours. So, tomorrow night, I any mean, tomorrow evening, right, is is going to be when the trading card comes out. Because I know in front of my comment, you can set it to exactly, like, it, a tier comes out at a certain time. So, it's set. And you won't be able to get a trading card anymore. And I assume both on here as this public single order item that you add in your cart and as the orders and as I items that are going to be added to the orders for free. Is that correct? Uh, so you mean, yeah, you will, you will get the, the trading card and the mini print come free with the order. Well, the trading card is 24 hours exclusive. The mini print, no matter if you back day 10, you still get the mini print, but you don't get the trading card. Right. But uh, if you are like, I don't just want one with my order, you know, like I want five. Well, then you got to buy the rest, all right, man? And you buy them this way. But, <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> but if you want to just get the one, you get the one. But if you want more, I was like, why don't I give them the up? Because what if they do? What if they someone wants more? Then I'll make sure they get more. So there we go. All right. Awesome. Um, and, man, you have a lot of perks. Holy crap. There's more. No, that's it. No, it does that. Oh, it does. Oh, the page. I, I, I was like, trying to. I was trying to figure it out. Yeah. No. That's then, so yeah. Weird. Then we got an entirely different book. For... Oh, right. I was like, you got three pages of these tiers. Like, what do you have? Like. No, that's it. It's just it's re it's fourteen. A whole tiers, clothing it's, line. It's really okay. just like when I boiled it down, I was like, okay, it's really just like four different covers. And a poster if you get it, and then different quality quantities of those things. Right. All right. No, I like it. again so very now. Shut up, big. <laughs> <laughs> very book focused. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. Well, because I figured at first I had lists of like, oh, they're gonna do hats, they're gonna do shirts, and I do intend on doing all that, but I was like I was like, well, would people buy shirts and hats of something that they don't get? Oh, I'm a fan of Phenomenova. Well, what is it? I don't know. I haven't read the book yet. You know what I mean? Like, you got to – I feel like I got to earn them. Um, that makes sense, but at the same time, you I'm never gonna know. I'm going to get it, though. I am going to make you... it. Don't worry. After the campaign, when uh, rebeloasisstudios.com. Right. The website. I mean, you know, this is how – you know how I do things on, I like book focus campaigns and I like the merch and the tchotchkes to well, campaign tchotchkes are fine, but I like merch to be on a store. I just think that separation is easier to manage. And honestly, I don't know how people manage doing merch and books for a campaign. That seems really stressful because when you, if you have a web store, you can just integrate the so many print on demand services and it just makes everything easier. But I think you have like, you can make his hoodie or something. That would be a Ooh, super easy. Is, idea it's to do. Again, it's, I literally wrote in the script that it's like a lame outfit. And then uh, uh, yeah, my yeah, artist made it cool. Easy. My artist made it cool. No, make it. So cool. print it, have art. You, you can print the front, but so like the design is cool, but have stitching be all janky and have art done where it looks like stitching because it's just going to be printed on. Anyway, you can do it. I think it would be a cool idea. Um, it's Al Alice Uri said, tag, tag you in a quick edit. The villain's actually a very strict hero. Hold on, I'll take a look. Um, I'm a little terrified because LSVRB. Yeah, I just texted it. I, I just saw it. It's very, no, it's not. It's actually just really okay. Funny. Okay, it's all right. Like, I will take a look at that. Hold on, give me one cover. second. A co which cover? Mine? Yeah, your cover. 
All right, let's see. I'm, uh, I'm slightly, still slightly annoyed that I want to take that damn helmet off. It looks strange. Now. You can take it off if you want. Okay, you needn't. Don't phrase it that way, Vaughn. But okay, I will. I, whoa, Rudy! I would you never. Just, of no, that that's one. what Jimmy and I were laughing at you saying earlier. You just caught oh. on. You have to watch how you phrase things on streams. Anyway, it sounds like you're learning from experience. You know what I mean? I'm learning from the dirty mind of chat. It's not me. Yeah, I'm learning well as I've been on the internet for way too long. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, should I open this in a new tab? What? Oh, the characters holding. Okay. There we go. That, that's great. Perfect. Alex made a meme. That means we did it. It was a successful stream. I think that so. That makes sense. Whatever. Thank you, Alex. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, I look forward to finishing coloring this. So it'll uh I'm gonna I'm I think it'll look well, great. You're gonna, you're coloring I have this, this whole version? color scheme. This version I have this whole no, not this exact version. I have the this alcohol version. Thought out. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I'm excited for it. It's gonna be glowing off of everything. It'll be a lot of fun. So, thank you for having me do this cover. I appreciate it. Thank you it. for doing it. I knew you would kill it on this. I remember I was on the phone with you because I was like, because she read the script, which is one of the things that was really like the same thing with Jules. Jules had read the script, is so I knew she had more to pull from. So I was like, what image comes to mind when you think of it? And she goes, has anyone drawn him fighting the villain in the reactor yet? And I was like, no. And she goes, well, I'm going to do that. And I was like, perfect. Uh, yeah, and then I was like going to do the reactor. And I'm like, it's too much work. I'm just going to do it hallway. I'm just kidding. Actually, the actually, reactor is a lot. It's actually a lot of work, though. Actually, I, it all totally is, it just doesn't look as cool. The hallway with how the light would funnel the focus, this like a hallway would look cooler. And I like drawing like pipes and like sci-fi stuff. So I'm like, ooh, pipes. So anyways, um, so my ghost in the shell days. But yeah, hope everybody likes this cover. I look forward to uh, doing some edits and then coloring it up and hopefully everybody likes it. So there you yeah. go. And all the other covers, let me go back to the campaign page so we can scroll through everything and take a, one last look and all this, ooh. So uh, let's refresh. Let's see if you're at like 3,000. Dun, dun, dun. You want to see? You want to see? I bet you probably are. Let's see. Almost. Look at that. Yeah. Damn. This is a great launch. Thank you all. It's all thanks to you. Cheers right, to you. Good. This is like my fourth bottle of, not bottle, glass of wine. I don't know how many. I should have been paying attention to this. I, 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 I haven't gotten through. I've been doing back and forth. Hold on. <laughs> That's. Really not a recipe for disaster at all, but I've seen you drink. Get out fourth, of here! My fourth whiskey glass, apparently, of wine. Honestly, this stuff is strong. I don't even know what this. This is um Bridge Road. I usually don't drink this stuff, but Dude, we got some great that, people. You know, no, I will say you were I, no normal. No, well, Jake is from another country. Uh, Ali uh, probably has a life. But Billy, I mean, we had a good stream. Billy came in. Niall came in. Uh, um, Don't publicly guilt people for not being here. No, I mean, I mean some people are better than others. No, I'm, fu I'm kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> How dare you? You know what? Jeez. You can make it up to me for buying something expensive. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> no, it was great. Uh, it's totally healthy it behavior. No, I, we know you're, we know you're joking. Uh, uh that no, this has been so fun um it's to, to be to see it people actually interested in buying because you got to look at it i realize i'm surrounded by so many people that have worked so much harder than me i ha objectively haven't proven myself as a writer to any of you guys in any real way you know i only have the promise and for that to be enough for so many of you it really means a lot you know, it really does. Now delivering, I i mean, Rini read my script and she's, the thing about her is like, she's not just someone I know. She's like a friend. So she'll be honest with me and be like, if this doesn't work, she'll be like, it doesn't work. I will work. tell you it completely sucks. I will be very oh, honest. Okay. Yeah. Well, you could have told me that before. <laughs> yeah. Well, the only failure I, did, I had was the name of your character, which I legitimately thought was true. But even that, well, cause here's the thing I do under, cause I remember I told Bobby that I was like, 
Well, Rini thought it was a joke. He goes, that doesn't make sense. Sounds no, I'm like, I'm like, I trust me, Bobby. If you read this, it does make sense why you could have thought it was a joke. Cause there is, he's supposed to be an idealistic kid. So when he goes, I'm this, it makes sense why you would think it is a joke. Yeah, thank you so much, yeah. Jimmy. And everyone back to you, Jimmy. Ray's. Jimmy Good Ray is hanging just, with I'm, you. It's been a while, but thanks for coming on and supporting. King. I love we love Jimmy Reyes. He's great. Yep, he's great. He's a comic creator formerly too. known as Narwhal. What happened to him? I, he's still Narwhal. By the way, Pear Berg is a good name. I don't know why he doesn't use his real name. Like Pear Berg is because Narwhal is the name of his I don't under name. like I love the man to death, but I'm like, I don't sometimes I don't understand him. But you know, I guess that's the face of all artists. Because I, no, I even on my show, I'm like, why are you narwhal? Like, why don't you just go by that's Pear his Bird? label name? That, that's it. Do you hear what I said? That's his company name. Yeah. So that's what everybody has called him. Something else, right? Originally, he told me this whole the whole origin. Uh, he's a yeah, good it man. was on it was on Zach's channel or something, and Zach was like, "What do I call you, narwhal?" That's Your what boy. I heard. Bad Sounds things right. happen around Vaughn. Says F in chat. I mean. Well, I guess that's part of life, and I mean, I would, I would, bad things happen about everyone. I think, right? Maybe <laughs> it was only because he can, we kept saying normal. Yeah, uh, I think I might have missed a, a few questions. Hold on, let's see if I can cover a few. Um, I covered Snarky's uh, last super chat. Let's see. Oh, Junkyard Dunn had an important question. Right? Is this going on any other platforms? Because I think Junkyard Dunn had problems backing on Fun My Comic. Uh. My pledge has been processing for 10 minutes now. Uh, it is not anytime soon. Uh, if you have issues, message me if you have issues, and I will reach out to Luke Stone or whoever. Um, definitely try it again. But I do plan on launching on Kickstarter at some point. So I, here's the thing. I don't know, because Indiegogo, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like a lot of Indiegogo audience backs here anyway. Um, Indiegogo takes a lot of the cut and doesn't have as much traction uh they shadow ban they have like a fraction of the audience in terms of comics of kickstarter so kickstarter 100 not sure about indiegogo i don't even know if it's worth it if i'm being honest um given you know things like that it's but, up to you. yeah indiegogo i launched my secondary campaign on there because i had an established audience but since this is your first book you can choose which is your secondary platform. The only thing with Indiegogo that I do like is they have a secret perk, but um, Kickstarter does have a larger audience, so I say go for it. Yeah, I think I might do that. Um, cool. So hopefully that works out. Um, and but, uh, yeah, Luke is very responsive if you have any issues with the website. So hopefully you can get the whole issue worked out. Don't care, Jen. Jobs Taylor, yeah, you said that FMC. Yeah, that's the thing. I learned all the all the things. Like when I see saw limitation, I was kind of like, well, I'll just treat it as a thing. So that's why I made the tiers as easy to do as possible. Like I really think that there's not really any room for what I get or what I don't get. Uh, I made sure I custom matched the print uh, the shipping to make sure that whatever tier you get is calculated accordingly that you get the right amount. Um. And uh, uh, yeah, okay. Just remember, I do not ignore you. I just read a chat by you. I am not ignoring you, my good friend. Uh, Wolfler for five dollars. Thank you very much. Bossa Nova, Chevy Nova, Nova. If you know, you know. Uh, about to back on from my comic now. Awesome. Thank you so much for the support and for the super chat, Wolfler. You are amazing. Uh, and just want to pull that up. Congrats on the launch. Yes, thank indeed. You. Congrats. And thank you for the links to all the other campaigns, Alex, and my other mods. Um, I think I got everything there. Yeah, wonderful. I think that about does it. Um, I will have to stay and chat more, but I do think we covered everything. Yeah. And I'm sure we'll uh, we'll keep boosting this campaign throughout its duration. Right, 30 days to go. Are you planning on running this for just 30 days? No, or I'm not. Is it no, I'm going to go as long until the book is done, which should be uh, hopefully within two months. Uh, but I'm planning on launching Kickstarter within that time as well. And then once the book is done, so I'm planning a fast turnaround. The faster it, the more money it gets, the faster it moves to the next book. 
Um, but mm-hmm. uh, and just through the process in general. But yeah, uh, it's going to be a fast moving project. I think uh, I think that sounds good, and I know that that's a great incentive for a lot of backers, especially for your first book. So, great job to you and your artists getting a lot of the work done early. Yeah. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Before we leave, if you don't mind, if I may, shill my own stuff just real oh, quick. Just Go ahead. Me. If I may, because um, I do have kind of some new stuff. Uh, everybody who's watching, hopefully, probably knows about my comic, Fiendish, which has three books out now. It's so wild. It's like, it feels like in a blink of an eye, I have three books, and I have this new cover as well, which is right here. It's I gotta get all of them. They're, those are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I'm so excited. Look! It's real! It's like really red because I have a red light, but it's absolutely beautiful. These books just came in and the uh, the giant pallets of books. The printer just shipped me a small batch of the copies so I can actually see the books. But the main books are going to RJ, my fulfillment guy, Critical Blast. And he's going to be starting fulfillment with the store orders. So people ordered from the store and it was pre-orders for book one and two. So we're fulfilling that first and then once the uh, trading cards and bookmarks come in for the fun my comic and indiegogo campaign we'll be fulfilling those probably in about a week so here you go here's a new permanent cover for fiendish 2 and 2.5 is also done where the fuck is it i can't find it oh here you go Bah, 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 bah. I only grabbed these two i don't know where the other covers are but anyways here's the 24 hour cover look at that Yay! There we go. And this is the permanent cover. Um, yeah. which you can't this wasn't on a campaign, which is why it's the permanent cover. But you can get this on the store. So head to speaking of da da da. Yeah, the campaign covers are the campaign variants are different. That things, cover is gorgeous. Those, I mean, that was the last campaign, and here here's the uh like if you if you look at both covers, it's 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 all cohesive and stuff. Isn't this so pretty? Oh my gosh. I love how this turned out. Uh, it's drawn by Michael Rushbrook and colored by Jake. Drawn, uh, I'm not drawn, written by me. And this cover is by me, but some of the other covers are by Michael Rushbrook. I'm very proud of how this book turned out. This is the first standalone one shot to my fantasy mystery comic Fiendish. And this is the third installment, but it's called chapter 2.5 because it's a one shot. So it's kind of like an in-between chapter. But yeah, I'm very proud of how this turned out. And if you guys would like to check out uh, Fiendish and find a good entry point, then this is a great entry point to the series. I hope you all take a look. And it, you can order it on the website. Let me go back to... Dun, dun, dun. Not full screen me. It's on the website right here. Look. Yay. So you can order these. And they'll be shipping like pretty much right away because... You know, the books are, I think the books are literally supposed to be with RJ like tomorrow. So these are going to be shipping. Finally, I apologize. There was a bit of a wait for people who order on the website for chapter one and two, but uh, we are right on time with 2.5. And I'm very, very happy about that. And of course, peruse the website and take a look at all the other beautiful goodies I have on here. I spend so much time on this website. Oh my gosh, please make it worth my time. Um, another thing I'd like to shout out is I have been doing. Da-da-dum, these character profiles i have a few more lined up here this is a is it gonna start playing and be all like funny here you go hold on stop okay but i have these character profiles all lined up and i'm gonna be doing world building videos on the world of fiendish i have character profiles for Cosmere, iskul and ragna and i have the magic system and all the different species in the world and i'm like what it just dawned on me one day like a month ago why haven't i been doing this it's insane. I have a fantasy comic that I've done a ton of world building for. Why? I mean, and I talk about it all the time on stream. Why am I not making standalone videos on this stuff? It's stupid. There's a lot of stuff I can't reveal yet. I know people have asked me for a world building book. Um, the reason that's not out yet is, is because there's a lot of stuff I can't reveal. But there, the stuff that I can reveal, I'm going to be making videos of it for. At the back of every fiendish book, everyone knows I have little world building pages like here is one of the magic systems and here in the back of chapter two is some of the species in my fantasy world so i'll just be doing expanded videos on that and uploading those and i think that'll be a lot of fun so check it out be sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that and yeah i'm i'm excited 
chapter three isn't going to launch for a while, but I'm definitely going to be keeping busy in the meantime. Don't worry, you guys will be getting a lot, a lot of content. You will not be bored. Reveal more of Ragna. More will be revealed in time. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. All right, I think about that wraps it up. Um, Thank you so I'm much. going. Yeah, I got to check out that oh, video. Yeah. Access passes. That's right on the website. I mean, I didn't want to like go on for too long, but I do have no, go passes ahead. on the website over here where you can. I'm I'm gonna do a proper video explaining all the website stuff and the passes, but it's essentially like Patreon, and you can read chapter one digitally now on the website. So here you go. I have this all set up. It's really fancy. It's really nice, um, and I think you guys will like it. And if you have any feedback, let me know because I want it to be a great experience. But. Uh, few people have bought the passes the the chapter passes already and they've enjoyed it so i'm glad i uh, i spent a lot of thought and energy into this i wanted i made so the the chapter passes just to elaborate on that a little more these are this one i just have chapter one on now but i'll have the other ones on soon these are to read the comic digitally on the website but it's not just like a pdf i have it set up so here let me just show you if you buy the pass, you'll just see this. And uh, let me zoom in a bit. So I don't try. You will see pages like here that have extra creators notes. So you'll you'll have tabs. Here's like my creators notes and the grayscale version. And here's the pencils, like partial pencils. I only saved that out while I was working on it. But I wanted to create an experience that you can only have on the website, right? So if you, this is for especially international backers who can't afford shipping because I know shipping is a lot right now. You it's can- crazy. Fiendish is also on Global Comics. So I have, um, I'll, I'll be putting the chapters up on Global Comics, which is a digital comics platform after like several months after the physical books fulfill, because I want to make sure, you know, the crowdfunding backers get a chance to read the, uh, the, the books first. But here you go. This is Fiendish on Global Comics. So you can't, you do have an option to read uh, the chapters digitally starting with chapter one but also on the website i want to provide a different experience so you have this kind of slight interactivity it's like you have bonus material um, i want it to be worth your money and different from a pdf so hopefully you'll enjoy that and that's what the chapter passes are uh i'm glad you think that's a great idea yeah i thought it was cool i kind of asked myself what would i like to see in a comic that was on a website like a website reader and i tried to integrate that so i did my best i want to make it more interactive but i mean i'm not a coder or anything i just did what i can comic book peep game thank you very much for five dollars hail phenomenova hail vaughn yes thank you thank, thank you thank you very much for your Love support you and mr camo says yeah. shout out Thank you. <laughs> you Mr. This, but Kimo. You still know, doctor. Wait, I know huh? I'm a failure. <laughs> Can I, Mr. Kimo, I'm trying to guess that. Can you show Mr. Kimo again? I'm trying to guess that character. Because that, that's not the character's name. God, that's man, slightly terrifying. Familiar. That's very terrifying. Hang on. That is, that's a DC character. Right? Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm trying to... Hang on. Do you guys see... God, I know that character from some... Oh, my God. Is that... That's not Plasmus, is it? You should have encyclopedic knowledge of this. How dare All right, Irene. Listen, I love American yeah. characters in America. Okay, <gasps> you fake American. I I said I was encouraging you. I said you should have encyclopedic know, knowledge of this. I was saying you do Shut it. Shut up, Alex. He's, Alex says that's Captain Muncho. I know it's not Captain Muncho. By the way, that just hang on. Like I was in the theater for the Spider. Oh I was God. I was in the theater for uh, the new for um seeing Sam Raimi Spider Man again, which again one of my biggest inspirations. And one of the trailers had like a, a like a um an indie movie, and they had a character named Captain Justice, and I laughed because that was my old YouTube channel name. <laughs> Captain, Captain Justice. Captain Justice. You haven't seen my old videos where I go, "What's up, guys? It's Captain Justice." Oh yeah. Here. Wait, well, I was gonna say you sounded like you were ten, but it's because you were ten. No, it's I didn't. Because I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those were funny. Um, yeah, oh, that's, great videos. That's a funny coincidence. Yeah. Good, yeah, classic, classic, good old days. It's Long camo. Long it is camo. From it is camo. Okay, okay. You see, gotcha. it's right in the name. Well, you know, okay, it's fine. Well, we we can't always. Um, camo. What is, is he? Perfect. Who's he? I know everything about comics. Yeah. We're 
No, but your quote okay. is a big one. The fact that like you don't you didn't care about superheroes until I did. The fact that I listen, all I'm saying, guys, I made Rini care about superheroes when Marvel Comics didn't. Well, I mean Okay. You know, I you get I'm so, I've been slowly comics. trying to understand superheroes and honestly, so knowing you and several other indie creators that really love the superhero genre and are creating superhero books and i'm not even kidding like i know a, a lot of american com readers don't are like oh my hero academia it's mongers but i got superheroes when i ran my hero academia i'm like i understand this is what it must have felt like for people who grew up on x-men it was really, it's not like and my hero is not usually my genre, but I understand reading it. Yeah. This is what it means. This is how cool superheroes can be, and this would really be compelling if oh, I was is. if I was fifteen, especially if I was a boy, because it is a boy genre. And it's just unfortunate that you know, working at Marvel, I didn't have any of that. It was yeah. Well, you know, Rini and I had a fierce debate uh, walking back from the comic shop in New, uh, in New Jersey about my hero. Because I was arguing that I think it's incredible. Listen, I like the show. I remember being pissed off because I was like, dude, this is strikingly similar to my idea. Um, but I was like, I was like walking back. I, mean, I, was, like, do, I was like, do you do we really need five weird, episodes though. of them organizing a concert? Like, did we need that? Do we need do we really do this manga though? I, yeah. I can understand from an American comics perspective why that's taking too long, but manga is a little more the pacing is so much more decompressed. And yeah, you but always, it's kind of a trope to like, again, it's not like, oh, this is better or worse or you're wrong. You're not wrong. I can see why people don't like that. But it's a trope in manga to have those like, oh, let's just completely diverge from the main plot of actually fighting villains to do like a beach episode or do like but a side or do a tournament. Though. It was the main plot. The the literally the main plot was it yeah, wasn't like because like there are there are like X-Men issues. They divert from the main plot exactly. all the time. They didn't divert from the main plot. It was the main the main plot of the show was getting their license to be a hero. Their main yeah. plot of the show was uh we gotta get a concert for this girl. It wasn't a side story, that was the main plot. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's a side story though. I guess I should it's say that annoying. Even. Well, okay, <laughs> you're you American comics is much more oh do to the point to the point. Manga will take its time and Follow the nuances of things happening, and it's a difference of preference. So honestly, yeah, that's something I've been learning. That's something I've been learning with my comic is to condense the storytelling more. And even with everything so condensed, <laughs> chapter three, which I'm thumbnailing now, it's going to be like sixty-five pages. Or it's insane. I can't. It's just oh my gosh, just so much shit happening. No, but listen, I yeah, joke aside, but I. You and know, then, you've read my comic script. You know that I actually do decompress a little bit with this issue. Like, I do, I went out of my way to take extra time with no. my character's or You don't think so? Huh? No, I was answering Alex. I know filler episodes. I used to watch Pokemon. I get pissed off because I beat the whole goddamn game by the time they got to the second gym in black and white. And I was like, why did I beat the whole game? And they oh, barely made good. any progress. Yeah. Anyway, no, but uh, you know that I, I take some time to decompress with Phenomenova issue one. Yeah, and I think it's good. I think the way you build it is good. I think you've, uh, this is a really strong first chapter, especially having read it. And um, it's not even, I mean, it's not even that, of course, I do wish you all the success with this campaign, but I think you will do very well. I mean, you're already almost at 3,000 on launch. So um, I hope that, I mean, I, I hope you enjoyed the launch. Thank you for coming yeah, on here to launch the book. Thank you. And, uh, and yeah, this, everybody go check out Phenomenova on Fun My Comic. And you will love this return to form for superhero comics. Go take a look. The campaign is pinned in the chat and I'm going to pin it in the description as well. The, the description link is wrong. I apologize. But it is, again, Phenomenova on Fun My Comic. Beautiful, inspiring. And everybody go take a look. All right. Thank you all. Uh, I think that's that about wraps it up. I will see you all. Actually, I'm going to head over to Allie's channel. So I'll have a stream with Allie. And then I'll see you all on Sunday for a draw stream. Have a good see night, everybody. Have Bye. A good one. See you. Bye. 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 Thank you for Bye. backing, guys. My outro. Yes. Thank you all. You guys are awesome.